to Sri Lanka warmly welcomes you as you embark on a new journey as young scholars today. From this day onwards, you will belong to one of the most eminent applied science faculties in Sri Lanka. Congratulations. The new normal has already become a norm for which reason we are today participating in this memorable event together, but not being together. To commence our program, let us all rise for the national anthem. You. Let me now take the privilege of inviting Dr. Rasangi Sabaragamur, Dean, Faculty of Applied Sciences, for welcoming this very important audience. Very good morning to you all. Hope you all can hear me. Yes. Yes. Uh, 
Vice Chancellor, Sir, Prof. Sudhir Ratnayaku, Heads of the Departments, Professors, uh, my dear colleagues and my dear students and parents, I'm really delighted to welcome you all today to this moment of embarking a new chapter in your lives. On behalf of the academic and non-academic staff, as well as the current students of the Faculty of Applied Sciences of beautiful Sabaragam University of Sri Lanka, I warmly welcome you to your new home for next few four years. Dear students, you are the new addition to our faculty <clears throat> and the largest batch of students uh, intake that we had so far. So you are very special to us. You have faced the most challenging hurdle of the examination system of your, our country and had been the luckiest ones to be chosen to the university system of Sri Lanka. Due to your hard work, commitment, as well as the encouragement, guidance, and sacrifices of your parents and teachers. First of all, let me congratulate you all for this achievement, for becoming an undergraduate student of our university. Today, you are going to step on the first step of your undergraduate years, even though it is the start under different context with new challenges for all of us. Regardless of what these challenges, challenging situation bringing us today, we all have to move forward towards a better tomorrow since the today's context will be just a small memory to us in few years time. This, that is what we are doing today, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow with hope that the next day will bring us the yesterday we all miss. I know each of you are in different st status of minds today, looking at this screen, looking at us. Some of you may be happy, while some of may, you may be a bit disappointed since you can, couldn't come, come here physically. However, I'm sure still you may not be aware the enormous opportunities and vast avenues awaiting once you successfully finish this journey you starting today. Let me allow my colleagues, our heads of the departments, deputy senior student counselor, our guest speaker, as well as your seniors to share this information with you. I would like to focus my speech on three things today. First, you are us. You are us now. Please keep in mind, apart from where you belong up to now, you are going to be part of our applied sciences community where we value diversity, inclusion, and respecting each other. Faculty of Applied Sciences offers 11 degree programs via its five departments with its multi talented staff, bringing in this diverse knowledge and skills, which makes us unique and strong. Our students are also unique with very positive attitudes, and I'm sure you also will bring in this same positivity. Your own experience, perspectives, and your dreams with you to share with us throughout these coming years. Especially with this online teaching and learning, we are going to bring our classroom to your homes and you will also will be bringing your homes to our classrooms, which will make us more connected than ever. Do not hesitate to reach for any help within this community, especially through your mentors or any other means, and we are here to offer it. And your contribution uh, as a part of this is also very much important in achieving what we are going to become together and as, in, in, as individuals. Second, you are today is you are tomorrow. Your thoughts today, your decisions today, and your acts today will create your future. Creating a great future is your responsibility and no one else's in any circumstance. Have your own plans and clear vision about your destination, thus you can pursue your dreams. Look around and be aware of the resources and opportunities you have and try to make use of them optimally. Be organized, be committed to anything you do, be positive always and be responsible for yourself to your parents, to your teachers, to your community, and to the society at large. Third, enjoy what you do. Enjoy your studies, 
This is about learning new things, building up your knowledge, gaining skills, improving your perspectives and networking with new people. Make it a happy learning experience. It is not only classroom learning or only related to academic work in the university setup. You will gain other sets of skills delivered through curriculum, extracurricular activities and independent learning activities. Of course, when you come to the university, especially these will be there. You have come to, come to the best place for your higher studies. So this will be indeed a happy learning experience for you. Finally, I wish to conclude my speech, wishing you a wonderful beginning and successful undergraduate years to become resourceful graduates and good citizens giving back to the society. Now you have received most information related to the orientation program, which is going through these few weeks, leading to a fresh start of your academic program with a good foundation. You will get all these details about the orientation session and further your academic program in the sessions, in the coming sessions today. Again, congratulations to you and to your parents. Good luck with the new journey. And again, welcome you to the Faculty of Applied Sciences. At the same time, we all are looking forward to meet you at the faculty soon when the situation gets better. Before conclude, let me thank, thank the Faculty Orientation Committee and the staff of the Center for Computer Studies for making this virtual event happen successfully. And of course, the Vice Chancellor, sir, for gracing this occasion, and our guest speaker, the academic staff, for their valuable presence at this event. Thank you very much. A good day to you all. Thank you very much, dear ma'am, for your very inspirational words. The Faculty of Applied Sciences is honored to have one of its eminent scientists and a former Dean as the Vice Chancellor of our university. Today, at a time we are challenged by a global pandemic, your leadership and guidance are a true blessing to all eight faculties of our university. I am honored to invite Professor Udirat Nayaka, the Vice Chancellor of Sabragama University of Sri Lanka for his address. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I think I'm audible to you. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you very much uh, for inviting me to this uh, very important event today. Uh, Dean of the Faculty, Dr. Asangi Sabaragamu, Head of Departments, uh, Professors, and Academic Staff Members, Non-Academic Staff Members, uh, and uh, the parents of these uh, new batch students, and especially the new batch of students, girls and boys who are going to join with us from today onwards. Uh, actually, as uh, Dr. Asangi, the Dean of the faculty mentioned, uh, we are now passing a little bit of difficult situation. Uh, in this difficult situation, uh, we, ha we, we have to do our orientation program like this uh, with hoping that we would uh, have a chance to uh, meet physically uh, in near very near future. Um, actually, uh, when we enter to the schools into grade one or when we go to nursery, we don't know why we learn, where we go, what will happen when we learn in grade one, when we go to grade two, what will happen. But when we come to all level classes, we know that we have to uh, perform well in our studies to uh, pursue or uh, to go on in our particular field that we like. Um, so we do our all levels best and uh, also then we all of us uh, join to A levels with hoping to with a dream to enter to a university. Almost all of us uh, go to A levels with, a, with that dream. This group of students are some of them uh, who are being successful in realizing their dreams. Uh, so with 
with that we would like to congratulate all of you all these uh, students who are joining us today and also we would like to uh, thank their parent for uh, being behind them and uh, promoting them encouraging them uh, to be successful in their uh, studies and uh, uh, being successful to be selected to a university and uh, this time uh, this uh, batch is uh, very important because of two reasons, not only because of this uh, pandemic situation and we are handling most of the things online, but also for uh, because of another reason. That is, uh, uh, you all of you know that uh, this time there were two, stu two stu groups, group of students in A-levels. One group of student uh, who sat for the exam first time and another group uh, who sat for the exam second or third time because of that, there was a, a difficult situation uh, when we selecting student uh, for the universities. In that case, uh, they are, uh, the opportunities that we could provide to uh, student, there was a very big uh, uh, discussions in uh, different places at universities, at the university grant commissions, ministry and everywhere, uh, how we could provide uh, more facilities, more opportunities for students. In that case, normally, this uh, faculty of applied sciences one of the eight faculties in the in this university uh, in this faculty normal intake is uh, 380 students but this time they agreed the faculty agreed to uh, increase it to uh, nearly six, 600 plus student actually 600 plus it mean nearly two times of the normal capacity. So this is a big challenge that they uh, accepted. So we, as vice chancellor, I would like to thank uh, Dean and all the head of department of this faculty and uh, all the staff members uh, being ready to accept this uh, challenge and uh, providing you the new batch with more opportunities. Because of that only, some of these uh, students who are joining with us uh, today with us because of your uh, very uh, good and uh, difficult de decision to increase the student by two times. But in the other hand, uh, providing facilities uh, suddenly to batch with uh, two times of numbers is very difficult task. For that, we are working on that. Uh, but for this student, there would be some difficulties when you come uh, to university even, uh, maybe for, for hostel facilities, maybe for lecture hall facilities, arrangements, there may, may be some difficulties, but all of us together, we have to plan well, and we have to bear some difficult situations, we have to understand some difficult situations when you come here physically, and as a group, we have to think differently, and uh, we have to plan well, and we have to face this situation. That is what we are doing now, facing this difficult pandemic situation even. Uh, I would like to thank the faculty for another uh, thing that is uh, arranging this online uh, orientation as well as arranging uh, the online teaching and online examination, very, very, very proper manner uh, to the student who are with us now, for your senior student. Now we are conducting online um, teaching as well as online examination very well. I think uh, in the university system, this faculty is the uh, best faculty who is uh, doing this online uh, examination. Uh, everything very perfectly arranged. Uh, I would like to comment on that as well and also uh, thank uh, all the uh, staff members and the technical support behind that uh, very successful online examination process. Uh, but anyhow, uh, we don't like to have this uh, online, uh, all this orientation program or teaching or whatever online. We need to uh, meet with you, meet with all the students. We need to have you here physically we need to come here not just to learn, 
we need to come uh, all of you to be here and uh, work with us uh, not to have the knowledge but to generate knowledge uh, and pass that uh, new knowledge which you are going to generate with the support of your staff and with their knowledge and with your skills and with your new ideas uh, the knowledge that we are going to generate we can pass to the uh, schools and also we can pass that knowledge to the society we can uh, by that we can contribute uh, to the development of the science development of the uh, uh, livelihood or to make the life easier for for the mankind all these facilities which we are uh, enjoying now are from universities from university projects for example just take facebook that is also from a university project university student project that kind of things that you are going to do in different fields when you come to university uh, that is why we we much need you to come to the university uh, physically but in this situation uh, we have to understand the situation and and we can't be just uh, wait until the situation back to normal we have to do something that is why we have planned very well and we have uh, start your academic programs from today onwards uh, so i congratulate all of you uh, all the new student for being selected and all, i wish all of your uh, student life university student life as undergraduate as well as after you graduate after four years uh, your uh, personal life would be very successful i wish you uh, uh, for that and also i would like to again uh, would like to uh, request you to uh, uh, maybe you you have this uh, video or, uh, recordings i i wish you would go back and uh, listen to your dean's uh, speech uh, i'm not going to mention what she mentioned there listen to your dean's uh, speech and uh, that is uh, how you have to behave that is what you have to do when you come to the university uh, thank you very much again for inviting me for this uh, very important event and uh, th th i thank all the organizers as well uh, and uh, thank all of you and wish you all of you uh the new batch and all the academic and non academic staff to make it a success thank you very much have a good day thank you very much dear sir for gracing the occasion and all your uh, uh, truly wonderful words thank you very much The new members who joined our Applied Science family today. Must be excited to know further about the university, faculty, and its departments, and also the wonderful environment where we are located. Earlier. 
uh, Yola, the new members of this big family, you all are excited to know about the departments, know about the surrounding, know about the environment and all. So the small changes, we are moving directly to the department introductions with the first introduction coming from the Department of Natural Resources. So my first cordial invitation goes to Dr. Inoka Piku Davidanage, head of the Department of Natural Resources, for her introductory speech. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you very much, Deep Chandi. I hope you can hear me. Yes, ma'am, you're audible. Right. Can I share, share my slide? Right. Uh, can I share my slide, please? Uh, I need to the sharing. Right. right. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Vice Chancellor, sir, the dean of the faculty, the heads, my colleagues, parents, and my dear, bright, fresh young minds. It's very good morning to you again, and it's my privilege to welcome you all to the beautiful Sabaragami University. As I say, the most beautiful university in Sri Lanka. And a brand new, fresh chapter, a fresh part of your life. A new chapter starting today for all of you. You are here because you are special. You have worked hard and you have reaped the benefits of your hard work today. And you have come here bearing dreams, not of yours, not just only of yours, but of your parents, of your loved ones. And you're holding the future of our, our country in your hands. And today, you are going to join hands with us to walk the next few years. It will be challenging. There will be difficulties, hardships, victories, joy. It's not an easy path, but it's a path worth traveling. Because when you emerge, you emerge as a very special, very unique person. And as the, the Dean Madam said, the person you become in few years' time will be a result of what you do, every action starting today. It's up to you to make yourself a special person and do things that will add value to your life. So with that, let me again welcome you to the Department of Natural Resources and give you a very brief introduction to the departmental structure. The Department of Natural Resources was actually established in 1996 and offers two degree programs currently, the BSc Honours in Environmental Science and Natural Resource Management, that's a special degree for the duration of four years, and the general degree of the same for a three-year period. We are identified as the pioneering academic establishment in the field of environmental science and natural resource management in Sri Lanka. As you understand, working with the environment, Managing the environment and managing our natural resources is critical for our survival, for everybody. And that's where you come in as experts to make sure that our uh, survival is uh, sustained in this aspect. It's a very heavy word, heavy phrase, but you'll understand as you go. We produce all round graduates who handle field level to policy level assignment. If you think of the, the, the graduates who have passed out of alumni, they are in very special places throughout the country, not just nationally at the global level, managing our environment for the betterment. And the most important thing here is that the university is located in a natural level. I'm sure Dr. Sandhan will eventually come to that to explain why it is very special. Whereas some other universities will have to go out of their university and look for specific places uh, to study the environment. We are right at the heart of a very unique biodiversity-wise and biogeographically important area. And it's all yours for the next few years to walk around, to understand, to enjoy. And we are a family. It's not just an academic environment where we have a barrier. We go as a family. And you are the brand new, young little fellows who are starting your beautiful journey today. And we are very happy to have you. We'll be walking with you for a while, and then we'll enjoy seeing you sort of making the next steps on your own in this specific path. 
And our intent is actually to produce professionals who possess specialized knowledge, skills, and positive attitudes. You understand, we are saying positive attitude. That's something very important as you move along. And to contribute for the national and global needs of the fields of environmental science, natural resource management. So that's where you are heading. Become individuals of specialized knowledge, skills, and positive attitude. If you look into the graduate profile, we uh, aim to produce graduates when they obtain a degree in environmental science, natural resource management, to have specialized knowledge, skills, professional qualities and attitudes that qualify them to become professionals in the field of environment, natural resource management and responsible citizens. So it's not just academia, it's about your personality, about becoming responsible citizens with a foundation for lifelong learning. This is the beginning of your journey. This is not sort of an end. Here you will start your path for lifelong learning. You take from what you brought from school, you're strengthening that foundation and you are going to continue and contribute to the social development. This looks a little bit uh, wordy, but just to give you an idea, within the, the natural resource degree program, we have three specific fields or pathways that are not isolated, but interlinked. Environmental management, the earth resources management, and biodiversity conservation and management. Mind you, these are not isolated. They are interlinked, but we have specific subjects. If you take environmental management, uh, environmental sciences, like toxicology, cleaner production, remote sensing, legal framework, energy resources, likewise. If you take earth resources, you have earth processes, mineralogy, geomorphology, uh, study of uh, hazards, climatology, and in biodiversity, where you deal with uh, fauna and flora and nature, you have ecology, biodiversity conservation. So it's up to your, you to pick as you go in which direction you would like to move. We provide you this uh, platform to select what you would uh, like to do. To go further, the environmental management degree program actually uh, sort of uh, uh, empower you with environmental management competence. With, we build very slowly with systematic alignment at the beginning with the fundamentals, and then we expand as we go into specific subject area. Same go with biodiversity conservation, where we take you to the world of fauna and flora, their management, the threats, conservation, you go to protected areas, you interact with the, uh, the professionals in the field. Uh, it's very interesting. And same with earth resources, where you deal with the earth, the soil, the lithosphere, the processes. It's an exciting world for you to uh, dwell into. And as I said before, the program structure is where we start with basic and pure sciences. We introduce you to the subjects, then you go to the core subjects we strengthen, and eventually at the, the latter part of your degree, we move to more management-oriented aspects and give you independent to work on your own. And it comes to the final year research where you will synthesize all your knowledge into one uh, uh, sort of a specific field where you prove what you have learned. Right? We have field excursions. We have programs which allow you to work with the communities, community outreach. We have elective subjects which allow uh, you to sort of pick what you like to do. And also we emphasize on the personal development. It's a lot to take at the, in, in one go, as I said, but some pictures, I'm sure with this current uh, pictorial world, you'll be accumulating your own photo albums, lots of photos, lots of experience. The camera will be sort of a very good resource to carry around, especially in, in this area and with your multitude of field visits and all, right? And finally, this degree program has greater career opportunities in government sector, in private sector, research, universities, uh, if you say natural resource management, conservation, mineral groundwater exploration, whole lot of fields. And I would advise you, start looking into these from the very beginning. Think where you want to be. Talk to professionals in this field, and slowly define your pathway as you go, right? The academic staff, all of us here, who are willing to help you in every possible way, comprise of uh, two professors, Professor Neta Gunatulika, Professor Chandamala Javardhana, uh, Dr. Uday Kumar, Dr. Sandun Perra, Dr. Lalinda, Dr. Jailal, Dr. Nuan, Dr. Hasinta, senior lecturers, and Dr. Deep Chand, Ms. Deep Chandi, lecturers, and me as the head of the department. Each of these academics are 
experts in their own specific field and at the same time who are really willing to help you to develop your personalities in a very positive way, in a very friendly manner, I would uh, assure you. So that's very, very brief. We'll be talking to you again. And we are not too far away. If you need to reach out, all of us are always available. Bless you for a fantastic journey. Do well, be happy, and be successful. Thank you. What do you, Deep Chandi? Thank you, dear ma'am. Thank you for your nice words. And I'm sure the students who are going to be there in the Department of Natural Resources are now more willing like, to join the department soon. Our next in in introduction will be of the Department of Food Science and Technology. Let me cordially invite Dr. Mahindra Senegaratna for his address. and my dear colleagues, dear students. First of all, I also would like to welcome you all to the Faculty of Applied Sciences and the students, those who have registered under uh, BSc special degree, BSc uh, honors degree in food science and technology to our department, uh, Department of Food Science and Technology. Uh, I will briefly uh, 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 explain about, uh, I will briefly go through the slides because already you have watched the uh, 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 small video presentation. Uh, as mentioned there, we have eight facult uh, faculties and uh, five departments in the uh, Faculty of Applied Sciences and uh, five departments offers 11 degree programs Good morning. Good morning. Uh, if you look back the way we passed, uh, there are several uh, milestones we can remember. In 1993, Buttala Affiliated University College has been started and offered BSc uh, diploma courses in food science and technology. And as mentioned earlier, in 1995, Sabaragamu University is uh, established, uh, amalgamating several faculties. And most important uh, for us is in 1996, uh, we offered first ever BSc degree program in food science and technology. And later, uh, that was updated into BSc special degree in food science and technology in 2005. And uh, at present, we are offering BSc honors degree in food science and technology. And during your four year course, we are offering 120 credits uh, in each year, crediting 30 credits in each year. So, to be graduated in food science and technology, you have to pass an uh, English uh, program other than the subjects you offered uh, during your four-year course. And here you can see semester-wise uh, breakdown. So each year we are offering 30 credits 
accounting counting 120 credits and uh, so students will learn under several key areas during your four years in your first year mainly you have to follow elementary courses in food science and technology degree program uh, counting 34 degrees and here you can see several other key areas food chemistry and food analysis food safety and food microbiology food processing product technologies and engineering applied food sciences and success skills and also you have to follow optional courses uh, in your study program And from, uh, so we have graduated, number of graduated produced by the department is around 370 from 1996. And at present, 175 students are learning in four, uh, in all four years. And higher percent of graduates are employed within first six months after graduation. And in, more, in mostly in food science, uh, in food industry and food industry related establishments. And some of these students uh, low, uh, are engaged in their postgraduate studies too. Food science and technology degree program has been designed to produce graduates uh, to have multidisciplinary skills and professional skills and content knowledge, and also to be self-directed navigators and innovators and critical thinkers. So, and this is our graduate profile, which we are producing graduates at the end of this uh, four years. Successful graduates actually secure their places in uh, different uh, food industries nationally and internationally, as can be seen here. And we also have enough and uh, qualified uh, academic staff, including one professor, Professor Udaya Ratnayaka, current vice chancellor of Sabragamu University of Sri Lanka. And we have senior academic members, Mrs. Kem Somavati, Mr. Janit Lienage, uh, Dr. Rasangi Sabaragamu, currently working as the Dean of the Faculty of Applied Sciences, Mr. MC and Jaisul, myself, and Dr. Tilini Kananke, Mrs. Amanda Sachivani, Mrs. Choshani Dalukdenia, at present she's on study leave, and uh, Mrs. Yvonne Fernandu. And other than that, uh, we have one assistant lecturer, Narmada Ms. Narmada Virakodi, and also four demonstrators, Malmi, Ms. Malmi Apsara, Ms. Nadisha uh, Srimali, Ms. Dilini Kaushalya, Ms. Musni Jabbar, and also uh, laboratory staff, we have one technical officer and four lab attendants. As office staff, we have one clerk and one office assistant. So to cater the uh, practical uh, needs and also research activities of the students, we have uh, five laboratories at present, food analysis, food processing, food microbiology, meat and fish processing, dairy science and dairy technology. And other than that, from the second stage of new building complex, we have another three uh, laboratories, sensory evaluation laboratory, fish processing laboratory, and dairy processing laboratory. So during the university life, students are engaged in various community programs and also workshops, various events and competitions, nationally and internationally. So, 
So our students also participate in various activities as can be seen here. And in future, you also will join in with these community programs as well as different competitions organized by the department and the uh, and by the students. So with that, I would like to conclude my speech while wishing you all uh, successful years ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Seniviratna. Our next introduction would be for the, from the Department of Physical Science and Technology. Let me kindly invite Dr. Chaminda Badurulia, Head, Department of Physical Science and Technology for his address. Over to you, sir. Okay, wait a minute, just. So it's so. Uh... Right. Right, uh, very good morning to you all, uh, uh, Vice Chancellor, sir, and, uh, Dean, Madam, and our uh, head of the departments, and uh, my dear colleagues. And also, I'd like to uh, welcome you all on behalf of the uh, Department of uh, Physical Sciences and Technology. Uh, so in this uh, uh, time, I'd like to uh, give a brief introduction about the, our department. So our department name is Department of Physical Science and Technology. And so the so aim of the, our department uh, is to uh, create so uh, professionals of higher caliber who can contribute to the national and international development while appreciating ethical and social responsibilities. So by aiming this, so we are uh, we have three major disciplines. So first one is chemical technology. The second one is applied physics, and third one is computer science and technology. So these are the three major disciplines. So under the above uh, department, and apart from that, we are conducting several supportive subjects: mathematics, statistics, and manage management subjects, and soft skill subjects, as well as the research methodology, so on. Right. So up. Focusing on these three subjects, we are going to offer four degree programs out of four, three degree programs are honors degrees. So that means it's a four year degrees. For example, if you move on to the uh, BSc honors in chemical technology, so it is a four year degree. Actually, we say that it's a two plus two uh, uh, program. So first two years, you have to learn basic science components mathematics, statistics, and uh, chemistry, and also the computer and uh, uh, physics. So apart from that, after the uh, uh, third day onwards, you have to find out your specialty area in chemical technology side, right? So then, uh, yeah. So when you move on to the computer science uh, technology part, it's a honors degree, and so that one is also a four-year degree, and it is also a two plus two uh, degree program, again, you have to follow the, again, two uh, uh, general uh, science courses for the, in two years. 
first year and second year. After that, you can choose your specialty. So under computer science technology part. So here we are going to discuss the software development, programming, computer system, computer architecture, networking, and hardware system, database management system, administration system, administration, so on. Right now, when you move on to the uh, applied physics part, so it's that one is also a four-year degree program. Here we are going to talk about the again, it's a two plus two degree program. First, you have to follow the all the uh, major courses in first two years. After that, you can find out your specialty area related to the physics. So in this uh, field, actually after th third year, you can learn the much more about the material physics, medical physics, and biophysics, remote sensing, GIS, astrophysics. That one is a booming field in this uh, now nowadays. So and uh, radiation, and nuclear physics, fire optics, and so on. Apart from that, we have another three-year degree program for the physical sciences. So in this in this course, you have to follow basic. Uh, degree uh, basic uh, subjects. So after that, after uh, second year, you can choose this whether you are going to um, uh, take the four honors degree or the uh, general degree. So BSc physical science is a general degree. It's a three year. It has three year duration. Right. So when you move on to the uh, four year, actually these are all, all the things are not uh, that means here we thought, uh, we. Um, Teach actually theoretical part as well as the uh, practical side of this one because this one is a applied uh, uh, faculty. So therefore, we are focusing all the things in the current demand of the world as well as the uh, Sri Lanka. So when you move on to the uh, this one actually here, as I told earlier, right? All the components are supported by the practical components. So in the fourth, that means when you talk about the, when you move on to the uh, special degree program or honors degree program. So as I told you earlier, we have three honors degree programs. Uh, so one is uh, applied physics, chemical technology, and also uh, uh, chemist, uh, computer science and technology, right? So in these, all these four uh, special degree programs in the third year, sorry, fourth year, we are uh, planning to conduct the mini project, so which, which is called the independent research project, as well as the literature search seminar in order to get the hands-on experience in uh, what we have learned. Right? So after that, in the final year, we have we, we normally send our students to the industrial uh, centers to get the hands-on experience, so uh, according to the available resources. Or if they want to do with some research in the university services, also we can arrange that uh, process as well. So in order to cater this, uh, uh, this demand, right? So we have uh, so several lecture theater, theaters and internet facilities, audio facilities, as well as the uh, some other uh, chemistry laboratories, physics laboratories, computer laboratories. So, so in order to upgrade the students uh, uh, research capacity, we have again, again another uh, several well-equipped laboratories. For example, if you move on to the physics uh, laboratory facilities, we have three laboratories. So general practical laboratory, lab, uh, electronic uh, laboratory, and opti uh, optics laboratory. So apart from that, when you move on to the chemistry laboratories, we have two chemistry laboratories. And, uh, and also other than that, we have one research laboratory. So when you move on to the computer laboratories, we have one computer laboratory with the capacity of 40 uh, computers, right? So now when you move on to the job opportunities for the uh, uh, our chemical technology part, so after pursuing their uh, uh, degree, they can move on to the entrepreneurship or like university lecturers, chemist, research scientist, technologist, or teacher, consultant, apart from that, uh, laboratory manager, quality manager, nano scientist, water scientist, so on. So if you talk about the, if you move on to the next one, so pro uh, professions available in the field of computer science. So here, again, again, similarly, you can move to the entrepreneurship and university lecturer post, or software architecture and scientists and software engineering, system uh, network administrator, IT consultant, database manager administrator, 
and so on. So now we move on to the again applied physics again. So entrepreneurship, university lecture course, and also material physics, research scientist, nanotechnology, medical physics, laser physics, laser engineer, and so on. In order to uh, uh, cater all these demands, so we have developed new our new curriculum. And in order to carry on those, uh, in order to facilitate the, these uh, demands, we have one chair professor and uh, one senior professor in chemistry. Now uh, he is working as a UGC vice chairman at the moment, and also one physics professor and one statistics uh, professor and one uh, sorry seven senior lecturers, seven professional lecturers. Uh, out of uh, seven, two of them are in abroad and they are doing their. Uh, PhD uh, research, so under the physics as well as under the computer science, and also we have three temporary lecturers and ten demonstrators. So these are the uh, well-educated, well-reputed staff profile. So actually, first uh, here, uh, that is my name, Dr. Badrulia, and also Professor Sandanaika. He's the chair professor, uh, Professor uh, C. P. Udawatta. Now he's working as the uh, uh, UGC vice chairman. Professor Aponso, he's the physics professor, and Professor Ratnayaka, uh, he's uh, the uh, statistic professor, and also uh, Dr. Sarangika, Dr. Maloy Patirana, and uh, Dr. Shashimali Soisa, and Dr. Iromi Gunasekara, and also Dr. Namal there, and also Mrs. Bhimali Vittasinga, and Dr. Leon, uh, and uh, uh, Mr. Malik, this Silva is again in the abroad, the, he's doing his PhD under the physics. Uh, Part. And also, uh, Ms. Erandati is also doing uh, computer science and is also in the abroad. And he's, she's doing again her PhD uh, part, right? Again, uh, Ruangika is also there. Ms. Ruangika. Mr. Sadir Bandar is also a probation lecturer. And Ms. Malkanti and Ms. C. and Hetty Arachi. And also, Dharma Tilaka and Mr. Prasantan and Mr. Joseph Charles and Ms. Hetty Kumar. So, apart from that, we have uh, several non academic staff members to facilitate their student requirements. So one mani management assistant, technical of two technical officers, and lab attendant, three lab attendants, and one work aid. So that's all from my side. I'd like to uh, congratulate all, and uh, see you very soon in the UNICEF premises next time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Badruye. So my next invitation is to Dr. Suraj Chandana, Head, Department of Sports Science and Physical Education for the introductory speech. Thank you very much. Very good morning and welcome everyone. The Vice Chancellor of the Sabragam University, the Dean of the Faculty of Applied Sciences, Heads of the Departments, Professors and Lecturers, and new students 2021. Welcome everyone. First of all, congratulations for new uh, students. I know making here is uh, not an easy task I believe all the hard work you have done to achieve this great opportunity. Uh, coming next uh, four years, you will be here and surrounded us. Therefore, you may have great. Okay, start my video. Can you hear me? Hello, Dr. Sandu. Yes, yes Dr. Dr. Suraj, we can yeah. hear you. Yeah. yeah. You may have great opportunity to join with uh, sports activities under the Department of Sports Sciences and Physical Education. So this is a great opportunity to uh, uh, introduce our department, degree programs, sports, 
as well as uh, sport activities and facilities. Yeah. Uh, Applied Sciences, one of the faculties among eight uh, faculties in the Sabargo University, and also very unique uh, faculty. Right, inside the faculty, we have five departments. Among them, we are very unique uh, department because of sports. We have actually young uh, energetic uh, staff members who are, who are qualified in the sport uh, field. So most of them uh, completed uh, master degrees uh, as well as uh, sports science and management uh, first degrees. We are offering actually two degree programs. First one, BSc special in uh, sports sciences and management, we call SSM. And uh, BSc special in physical education, we call PED. The duration of the degree programs are four years. The both uh, degree programs are well supported by practical activities, projects that has uh, enabled to produce skills and competent graduate within four years. At the present, there is a great demand for degree program, which uh, is significantly sh shown by the increasing number of students intake each year. At the present, intake has reached the maximum capacity. Current intake is actually for SSM under for the PED 100. Uh, this is a brief history of registered students uh, from 2007 to 2000, 2020. You can see number of uh, registered students have been increased. In this year, uh, the number of uh, intakes, student of the, uh, our department uh, is doubled. That means uh, 200 candidates uh, waiting to study under our department. Current uh, students population in uh, 2021 in the, our the department, you can see first year around 95, again, second year also close to 95 students, third year 93 students, the fourth year uh, more than 80. A graduate of the SSM is intended to be a sport a scientist. We actually, our main target is uh, to develop, introduce uh, graduates for as a sports scientist and also the manager, teacher and coach. We are focusing uh, actually major competencies in this field, uh, especially relevant research development and management abilities specialist knowledge and skills, develop physical literacy, general intellectual and life skills. Right, major area, major areas of uh, both SSM and PED, we have common subjects for two degree programs. Uh, for basic science, you know, uh, human anatomy, physiology, uh, exercise biochemistry, basic physics, basic mathematics, fundamental of statistics. These are the very fundamental uh, basic science we are offering to the uh, uh, students who are in first year and second year. And also we are focusing uh, communication skills, especially professional English, uh, information technology, and also we are going to introduce professional development to develop uh, communication skills. And sports science subjects, you can see there are seven uh, subjects. Actually, these subjects outside very demand and very expensive uh, subjects. 
but uh, for our students, we are offering this valuable, uh, very important uh, sports science subjects such as uh, sports biomechanics, sport uh, physiology, exercise physiology, exercise biochemistry, sport nutrition, sport psychology, sport injury prevention and rehabilitation. This is actually, these subjects are common for SSM students as well as PED students. By major areas in SSM, you can see a lot of uh, sports management subjects available. So these subjects actually very demand in outside for uh, our students, uh, we can learn uh, these subjects inside the uh, faculty. And also uh, the coach education is a uh, special uh, area of uh, SSM. Uh, please look at the subjects, uh, theory and uh, methodology of sports training, advanced theory and methodology of sport training, strength and conditioning, long-term athlete development, movement concept, skill analysis, performance and practices. Uh, in this subject, actually we are offering uh, almost 20 sports. Uh, the practicum, that means uh, sport teaching, exercise prescription. This is actually uh, major areas of SSM degree program. Right, major areas, uh, especially both SSM and uh, PED, uh, the sports, all sports are common for uh, both of uh, SSM and PED. Please look at the sports, athletics, gymnastics, swimming, life saving, and uh, badminton, table tennis, tennis, baseball, cricket, LA, again, karate, judo, wrestling, weightlifting, soccer, hockey, rugby, and basketball, volleyball, netball, and also uh, the fundamental of motor skills and aerobics and rhythmic activities. These are the uh, sports, maybe around 20 sports we are going to introduce for our uh, graduates, students. Right. Special uh, BSc Special Honors in Physical Education, PED. Uh, graduate of uh, the PED is intended to be effective physical education professional who is capable of the development of health and sports performance through the processing of personnel. Right, physical activity skills, teaching, coaching, and umpiring skills, we are focused, and also research competencies. We highly emphasize this one, and also able to apply that intellectuality for the personal and social well-being. Major areas in PED. Again, uh, you can see a lot of uh, uh, subjects uh, in the field of uh, physical education. Uh, history of physical education, comparative uh, physical education, likewise, adaptive physical education. These are the major uh, areas in uh, physical education. And also, we specifically identify uh, the very innovative uh, subjects for coach education. Uh, these subjects actually uh, very close to similar for the same students, theory and uh, theory and methodology of sports training, and advanced theory and methodology of sport training, strength and conditioning, long-term athletic development. Again, movement concept. We uh, introduced twenty sports here. Again, uh, sport teaching. Uh, please look at our facilities. The the few of them uh, you can see here. We have a swimming pool, then we have indoor facilities to provide uh, indoor sports and also outdoor activities. We, we have a volleyball, a netball, and also the basketball courts. 
especially in this year, we uh, established uh, first ever sports biomechanics laboratory. This laboratory uh, only available in uh, uh, our Saburgo uh, okay. So for this uh, new students, uh, first time you can utilize these apparatus uh, to uh, improve your practical and uh, and also we can improve the sport performance uh, through the uh, biomechanical analysis. So again, we have uh, sport physiology, psychology labs uh, and fitness, anatomy and sport physiotherapy. You can see uh, this is uh, actually anatomy laboratory and also the fitness laboratory. For everyday activities, uh, you can utilize our fitness laboratory. And also our students have a chance to uh, attend uh, national and international level uh, competitions, uh, activities, conferences mm -hmm. like this. Uh, and also uh, extracurricular activities. Definitely uh, our students can uh, apply whatever we learn from inside the class. We can apply these uh, theories uh, for the practical arena. Uh, 2017, our uh, fourth year students, they organized a Sabra Challenge big event based on uh, extracurricular activities. So all uh, universities attended uh, for this activity. And also our students uh, have a chance to organize uh, uh, competitions inside the university based on our curricula. Uh, we have outdoor recreational activities as a subject. So student uh, can uh, improve their soft skills and they can apply theory uh, and practical to improve their soft skills. Uh, awarding ceremony, colors awarding ceremony, you can uh, see the uh, pictures. Almost all uh, athletes come uh, from our department. Uh, this is uh, uh, the unique, uh, that's why I said that this is a very unique uh, department in the the faculty. And also uh, our students uh, can engage with uh, 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 community service. We have uh, the subject we call the community service project. The student have a great opportunity to work with uh, kids and uh, outside of the university. So uh, whatever we learn inside the university, we, we can apply to the society uh, also. And also uh, our uh, department uh, uh, lecturers, as well as our students, uh, they have great opportunity to uh, participate in national level conference events in Sri Lanka. So in the, our department, we have actually great uh, demand lecturers so I'm the head of the department. My major area is uh, sports biomechanics. At the moment, uh, maybe I am the uh, only one biomechanics PhD holder. Uh, my sport is uh, gymnastic. Then uh, we have a specialist for the sport nutrition. Uh, actually outside the, our university, uh, very, very rare field. So uh, no expert in this field. We have uh, one of one uh, lecturer, is, uh, she is uh, qualified for the sport nutrition. And also, um, Ms. Uh, Madhushani uh, is uh, uh, the major area is uh, sports management and Olympic studies. She recently completed the uh, Master of Science in uh, uh, sports management in Germany. He's actually an Asian level uh, volleyball player. So uh, the next uh, uh, Deepanjali Viraratna, uh, she's actually specialist for sports uh, physiotherapy. 
is a registered uh, uh, in the medical uh, field. So then uh, Dr. Jonathan uh, is uh, qualified in the field of physical education. His uh, main sport is uh, uh, football. Mr. Othalao, he's uh, reading PhD. Uh, recently, he joined with our department after completing uh, PhD. Uh, his major area is uh, sport uh, strength and conditioning. Major sport is judo. And Mr. Hapuarach is also the specialist for statistics. Uh, Ms. Lienagi, uh, we have a uh, special uh, uh, lecturer for the practicum, that means uh, we call uh, sport teaching. Her major uh, sport is LA and netball. Uh, Mr. Jaganendran is qualified coach and also internationally qualified uh, coach for uh, sports, especially for athletics. Sri Haran, uh, 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 he has a special capacity to teach uh, more sports. Uh, his major area is uh, sport uh, psychology and also sports, especially he uh, good for all sports, but uh, uh, the most suitable for basketball and hockey. And also we have uh, young staff, uh, Varuni Rupa Singh, uh, Vikram Singh, uh, and uh, uh, Virakodi, Jai Singh, uh, and also the uh, Mr. DSL Pereira and Senevilatna for uh, basic sciences. This is a brief explanation of our department. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, you all uh, can join with the sport activities and happy future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Chandana. And I'm sure it will be this, this year will be a very memorable year. Though. So for those who are joining the sports science department, since the Tokyo Olympics are going on right now, so it will become a real good memory for you all that you are starting your career right now. So thank you again. And we have now covered four of our five departments and having more than 500 students in our YouTube live stream, which really is something to be happy about. As the final component under the departmental introductions, let me cordially invite Professor S. Vasantha Priyan, Head, Department of Computing and Information Systems for the introductory speech. Am I audible? Yes, Professor, you are. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, good morning, uh, all of you. Um, Professor Udhirat Naika, the Vice Chancellor of Sabaragamu University of Sri Lanka, Dr. Asangi Sabaragamu, the Dean, Faculty of Applied Sciences, the heads of the departments, professors, academic staff members, <clears throat> non academic staff members, and uh, so, uh, students, uh, the current students, and also the newly and uh, uh, today who are entering this day as their first day in this university. For all of you, I am welcoming and good, good saying good morning to all of you. Uh, especially, this is a, a very important day for in your life. It's a first day in the university, like first day in the school, right? So it's a very important uh, day in your life. So on behalf of uh, the department of computing and systems uh, as the head of the department i just uh, uh, briefly deliver a, a small speech uh, uh, um, with, about our plans our, about our introducing our department so basically the department was actually formed in first of march to 20, 2011 it's almost 10 years before a decade ago but it was the degree program was start initiated in 2008. So that just came in 2008. 
and we have happy to say we have within this short 10 years we have uh, we have uh, the more than 500 graduates have been passed out from this department and mostly 99% of these graduates are employer employing in industry academia in research and also living abroad in high prof job profiles um, basically the academic staff so if you uh, in our department we have a very eminent academic staff panel specialized in core competencies uh, including two professors are here um, uh, all the staff members are having a very unique specialization in their field uh, basically, uh, when we introduce this, uh, my department, so you, I, every, just for everybody, for others as well, who are from other departments. So we have Faculty of Applied Sciences having five departments and conducting 12 degree programs. So Department of CIS is going to have, they are, have two degree programs from this year, BSc Honors in Information Systems and BSc Honors in Software Engineering, all of them are for four-year program. Uh, uh, <clears throat> and uh, just to show this uh, history, how we have grown up to now. So uh, from first batch, we got, uh, actually the UGC determined our intake was 80 students in 2007 batch, that means 2000, in 2008. So first time we got 47 students, I think uh, prominent alumni are here in this uh, meeting, even as uh, academic staffs. Um, Thereafter, we got 68 students, 65 students, and you see, all of a sudden, there was a problem with the system. It was allowed everybody knew. So we got only 38 students in that, uh, uh, so 38 bright students uh, there. And again, uh, as usual, it grew on to, um, there was an intake change in 2012 uh, batch. So we got around 91 students. Then we got again 62. So there was a kind of fluctuation time to time. And very recently, we have almost with a uh, mark up to 100 students. Now, very recently, like one year before, as Vice Chancellor uh, mentioned, all our academic staff so were really interested to uh, meet more students because of the requirement was there. And we taking that challenge, our department also uh, take um, uh, the intake to 100 students, to 180 students. Um, uh, making us uh, with two, three time of increase, uh, so 100, 162, and again 18, 180 students as an intake, but actually we got around 150 students in this batch, 152 or something. And also, very important turning point for our department is uh, we, are, we are commencing our software engineering degree in Sri Lankan University system. We are the second to start after the University of Kalania. So we, got, we, we are getting 58 students, but actually, uh, 52 students are uh, they are registered today in this uh, uh, today and they I hope they are here today online uh, watching our event. Uh, so all of I welcome all of these students uh, regarding uh, to our de uh, department. Basically, uh, I'm not going to take much time on all these things since if the students are going to be here for four years with us. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the curriculum modules and so on much on this one. Uh, because there are non-related students also there. Basically, uh, our curriculum is a, a, a very well-recognized, uh, uh, accelerated body, ACMI, I hope every might have seen that. So the curricula was uh, designed based on the UGC recommendations. Um, uh, so IS, now this, uh, this is IS 2020 came in now very recently, and the software engineer in 2014. So our curricula is almost accelerated to uh, particular <coughs> standard uh, standard uh, standard um, um, acceleration bodies. Uh, uh, so I hope that this is why we are getting up a very uh, fruitful uh, students to the program, and also we are graduating them in a very employable way out of this product as a product. And uh, uh, actually, I want to show you. Uh, CIS is normally the data of us, so CIS is the normal hashtag for us. CIS means always is teamwork, so team is everybody in the team. Because if you know, uh, if because all of you are here, basically knows uh, the, if you rather you work alone. If you work as a team, it's always more effective than the individual uh, contribution. So as our department uh, is a very important uh, uh, team is working as teamwork. And also continuous plan. That is very important. 
we just doesn't enough as a teamwork always we have to continuously we have to play so these are some visuals where we sit together our academy staffs are here you can see young energetic staffs are here uh, almost very young uh, staffs are here around and uh, we always uh, meet time to time and we discuss uh, the matters what we have to do in a very open way so we are open hearted to staff members uh, to do this so some of these visuals um, some of the visuals are here and uh, we are trying to uh, um, do something uh, uh, um, uh, with all these activities and we'll plan it. And also, we have a very, you can see the staff members of ours are very, you know, very young. And with the mask, it looks a little bit more, cannot see the faces, but still some of them are here. And also, some more visuals for this uh, thing. So you can see how we work together in, uh, to achieve our targets. Right, set goals. We almost have some goals where how we plan and we execute as a team and with the support of continuous planning with all our staff members. Okay. And especially, uh, CIC is uh, um, uh, compiled, uh, compiled of three very prominent societies. I think many of these, um, even everywhere, people are very known about our societies. Uh, SOX is our Society of Computer Sciences, where uh, we, we we do a lot of activities through the society because uh, students, we, we thought as a when we department, as a former founder time when I was the head of the department. So those days uh, we always planned, so we should give freedom to students' leaderships. So we realized uh, to, st come, uh, to start the society, uh, student societies where students can take their lead. So the continuous planning, uh, they are taking their leaderships, mentoring, projects, guiding, so many activities they can do. So the skills can be improved during the undergraduate stay. So the very nice uh, vari variety of experiences they may get through these societies, definitely. You can ask any alumina if they may tell many stories. So then very recently we are accelerated to IEEE uh, also, it's very popular one. So we got a student, IEEE student branch like five, six, six years before. And very recently we got this IEEE one in engineering. So very recently only we had this first AGM and we got this uh, IEEE acceleration for women in engineering. We are women, I mean, the woman is going to be gathered and do take their leadership to, through this channel as well. So I think uh, we also in our staff members and the students, they are really contributing to these, all these three societies, uh, two are very internationally recognized and one is uh, even locally recognized uh, societies uh, to take their leaderships and show uh, and winning compet in competitions and also in other activities and make our CS as a brand name around the globe. And uh, some of the achievements, actually, I'm not going to take much time over here. I'll uh, just come to this one. So we, we got very, very prominent IEEE uh, uh, award uh, from USA, they, from USA committee. They have, in USA, uh, the, these IEEE headquarters, they award us uh, very, for, let me echo, hack to echo 2.0. They uh, reviewed our proposal and they gave this uh, very prominent award to our uh, IEEE student branch uh, and uh, activity is let me hack echo 2.0. It was held uh, in 2020. So I'm really happy to see such award uh, coming to our department from the IEEE headquarters for such a uh, real uh, achievement through from our students by guiding by our academic staffs and also alumni. Right? Uh, and um, I, we will, we, we are going to meet you in the, in the again later on. Almost we are going to be with you. Uh, or just, just saying the first day, uh, say something about the job opportunities in our department. Because always people see when they first day come in, how I can be at last. Of course, uh, I'm not going to say about all the professions. So mostly you can see almost industry is looking for. Uh, these kind of uh, positions, most prominent positions in the industry, and uh, all these uh, positions are almost covered using uh, our curriculum, and also we have a lot of activities. You can subscribe to our uh, social media pages, uh, Computing and Women Systems, or LinkedIn pages, where you can see our progress, or you can uh, watch all the pro activities um, from us. Okay, so on this day, I'm uh, uh, as a very important message I'm going to tell you. Uh, what I followed as well, choose the best path by yourself. See whether your passion is. Always look for your passion. Is it okay? Ass assess your competencies, leadership, other qualities, 
uh, all the things. So you access your competencies, work on the required core competencies because core is very important. Always, you came for your uh, degree program to open a degree program and how we are going to be so okay. And test your personality, of course. Test you always. You have to test your personality whether are you in track. Accept the challenge. Always you need to accept the challenge. We always accept the challenge as a team, as an academic staff here, as academic uh, students of this department. All they accept the challenge. Never judge without right. We always try hard, always try hard so far. That's why we got these plenty of achievements all these days because of these kind of taking the challenge and trying the challenge. Eh? Never fear to switch path. So if we got the wrong, we, if we go to the wrong direction, we, we don't fear. We come back again. We come back strong and we change the path and we win the game. We always win the game as a team because that's what I say, team and continuous planning always will give you the best part of your life. Yeah. Look up for a role model and be inspired. I, I always uh, say, I think I think our uh, chancellor sir, used to say this, always, um, uh, I think he's not here. Huh? So I have seen uh, when he's presenting in meetings and so on, he used to say he always wanted to see his different uh, role models he had. Uh, so always uh, he's used to say that, what you look up for to a role model and be inspired. That will give you a best life in your life, right? Okay. Uh, that's all actually from my side I need to show you today uh, to make you all more aware of the pro our activities. What I thought is uh, to have a good uh, inspiral video uh, which was developed by our department where you can just watch for a nice break and we can come back to the session after that to the next pro activity. So, okay, thank you for listening and wish you all the best and we will be, uh, we will be uh, seeing you all physically or maybe online. Uh, very soon by online and later on by physically. Uh, until then, good luck. Anyway, you cut it, it is the students that are the soul of any university. Sabaragamo University of Sri Lanka is no exception to this universal notion. Our students are driven by an unquenchable thirst for new knowledge and new perspectives to build their knowledge, groom their skills and deepen their understanding further. Towards this end, they are on a relentless quest to bridge the gap between theory and application in the world of computing and information systems. The Department of Computing and Information Systems is the technology education arm of the Faculty of Applied Sciences and our supremely talented and knowledgeable IT undergraduates under the guidance of our expert panel of lecturers have made plenty of stupendous achievements in their academic journey. The recent achievements in recognition of their research and similar contributions on both Sri Lankan and international platforms include gold medals, best paper awards and best post presentation awards. For their significant contributions, they have drawn admiration from reputed local and international research forums. The students are wholeheartedly supported and perspicaciously guided to strengthen their aptitude in their specific research domains. Another brainchild of the Department of CIS is Let Me Hack, the Inter-University Hackathon. It is a product-oriented hackathon organized by the Department of CIS. With just the very first iteration of Let Me Hack in 2018, it drew attention from Sri Lankan IT undergraduates as an important technology event. The second iteration, Let Me Hack Echo 2020, was recognized globally with many IEEE awards for revolutionizing the hackathon trends with the concept of zero polythene consumption. Without stopping there to rest on their laurels, our students have competed in other hackathons and landed noteworthy victories. 
With these telling achievements, the Department of CIS demonstrates its ample potential for inventing creative and innovative solutions for the IT industry and for the world. Virtual Rival is an interfaculty gaming competition that has been organized by the Department of CIS for many years. Over the years, VR has become the most anticipated event for all the undergraduates of the university, which unites them with the hype of most recently developed esports challenges. The Society of Computer Sciences, along with the IEEE student branch of SUSL, leads the undergraduates of the Department of CIS to make such monumental achievements continually, serving as an unlimited source of guidance, inspiration and encouragement for these brilliant young minds. With such commendable achievements under their belt, the Department of CIS has proven their collective mettle and demonstrates their potential to reach far greater goals both academically and industrially which has paved the way for the initiation of the Faculty of Computing. It is going to be the fourth computing faculty of the country introducing new degree programs such as software engineering and data science catering to the global research in the respective fields of study and also to the ever-evolving industry requirements. We continue to act on our firm and ardent belief that the future is not what we wait for. It is what we create today for a better tomorrow. Thank you for watching the uh, video and Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Vasanta Priyan. So now our fresh students, all of you must be having some fair understanding of your respective departments. I'm sure the introductions have made you more enthusiastic to join the faculty, join, uh, join, join the Faculty of Applied Sciences as members and to start your very new undergraduate careers. So in addition to the introductory speeches, we also have a representation from the current scholars of the faculty. Let me extend my invitation to Mr. Hasaru Nirmana to talk to you all representing the faculty's student union. Mr. Nirmana, over to you. Thank you, Madam. Vice Chancellor of the University, Dean of the Faculty of Applied Sciences, all the department heads and the academic staff, non-academic staff, their parents and my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning to every last one of you present over here and warmly welcome my brothers and sisters as we are eagerly waiting to know you all. So welcome to this whole new world. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic situation, we were not being able to organize a welcoming party for you at the university premises. But let's wish to meet at the university as soon as possible. Before going ahead, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all the freshers present over here on behalf of the Students Union of Faculty of Applied Sciences also, I would like to extend a warm gratitude to all for giving me this beautiful opportunity to welcome our brothers and sisters to our family. This is surely a special day for you all, as today you are going to start a new and fresh journey of your life, full of new challenges, milestones, and achievement. Take these challenges as opportunities to build your personality, build yourself. This is a day with many new mixed feeling of happiness, confession, fear, and excitement. We all are here for you to make sure 
that this journey is memorable for you all. This is going to be the best roller coaster ride of your journey, full of fun, knowledge, growth, and ultimate success. The day you will end this journey, you will surely miss the memorable time that you are going to spend in the university. Sabaragami University is not just about education and training, but also about building a personality, an attitude, a character, and a versatile person. Be ready to capture some experiences, happy memories, and friends who are going to surround you for a lifetime with happiness. Now, I would like to talk about the Students' Union of Faculty of Applied Sciences. And we have created a presentation. These are some major community projects and functions we done as a family, hoping to do it in the future. Yadam Mati Neum Bhimata is one of the major celebration of the faculty of who dedicated their blood, sweat for better future of the faculty. Next slide, please. Ratriya V is the major art celebration of the faculty. It's a wonderful evening with excitement, fun, many showcasing their talent. Last time we have done it, the biggest of them all. So we are hoping to do it again after the pandemic situation. Next slide, please. Ashwas, one of the important function of the faculty is a major showcase of the creative mind and the talent of the student of applied science. It's ba basically all the things, all the creation have, all the music, all the poems, all the stories have built and created by the student of the faculty. Next slide. Taranaya. Taranaya is the major community project we are doing for years for ordinary level students. We are planning to conduct it on this year as well. New Year's Next slide, please. New Year celebration. We have the New Year celebration. We have done it for function that we have done it for years. Unfortunately, in 2021, we couldn't do it on due to this pandemic situation. Hoping next year, we can conduct it all on the university premises. Next slide. There are two major sporting event are conducted by the Student Union of Faculty of Applied Sciences. 
Eresh Tanuka Memorial Cricket Tournament and the Volley Challenge is much more than competitive manner, but for improve friendship, brotherhood between the students and the between the badges. Next slide. Padura also, like I tell before, like the Ashwas, it's a event that many showcasing their great talent. Next slide. Yeah, Voli, cha Voli Challenge also I mentioned before, it's uh, played with badges, with the students and the academic staff also have played, uh, have participated in all these events. There is a positive relationship between in the applied sciences academic staff and the students have worked together for a great or better uh, faculty student or better future of the student. These are some of the community project, charity works and function that we have done as a family, there are many more community projects and charity work and function that not included in this presentation that we do on regular basis. There are four, four major subcommittees under the Student Union of Faculty of Applied Sciences, Education Sub. Okay, since we also have to catch up with the time, let me now move on to the next event in our agenda. And if uh, Mr. Nirman would be there, he would become available. We can have him back after this session, after this talk. So, so far, you all have been uh, listening to and seeing, watching a uh, number of uh, beautiful speeches, very colorful speeches, colorful uh, sort of introductory talks. And most of them were basically related to the academic uh, curricula that you are going to start and the on-campus sort of information. So deviating from whatever the, the basic contents that we have been having so far, let me now cordially invite Dr. Sandun J. Pereira, 
senior lecturer from the Department of Natural Resources to take to take you on a virtual tour of Sabaragamu because uh, you all know that we are located in such a beautiful place, such a beautiful location, uh, which is very unique in num numerous ways. So let me hand over the session to Dr. Pereira for his talk, a virtual tour in Sabaragamu. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Deep Chandi. And uh, dear Vice Chancellor, sir, the Dean, Madam, all the heads of the department, uh, departments, five departments, and uh, dear professors, uh, all the lecturers, and uh, everybody who is representing the faculty here, and uh, my dear students of the new uh, batch, right? We are so delighted to have you here in this session, and we warmly welcome you to this pristine surroundings of uh, Belihulloya. However, virtually for now, but of course, in the near future, we will be welcoming you uh, face to face, physically, to have you here. And uh, as uh, as a as a as a tradition, and uh, of course, it, you deserve it. I will have to congratulate you before the starting of this talk because you have uh, achieved uh, one of the biggest achievements in your life. You are all achievers, right? You all are achievers and we all have been uh, such achievers at one time. So we feel how uh, we feel what is there inside your minds at now, right? However, things have been extremely difficult and extremely different to what we felt that time because uh, now we are going through a different, completely different situation where the humanity have never ever experienced in the entire history of uh, the species, right? So I'm not going to go there in detail. However, uh, thank you so much for all those uh, introductory speeches to the departments and especially I'm uh, delighted to hear Mr. Hasaru speaking about the student life uh, representing the student union here. So my duty here is to now conclude this entire uh, uh, discussion. Uh, and I'm not really going to uh, talk much about uh, the jargon of uh, uh, technical stuff, right? Because uh, we are going to uh, welcome you here in Belihulu in the near future. I'm trying to make you ready for that. I hope you can see my slides now. So my talk today is to welcome you to the Montaigne University of Sri Lanka, right? This uh, talk will be providing you some uh, insights about what to expect when you are in Belihulu very soon. And uh, of course, the talk will take you up through uh, a few uh, important points. Uh, however, most of these points have been touched by our heads of the departments and also uh, the union representative, student union representative in one way or the other. Uh, but I will be reminding you of some of those things and uh, I will anyway have to uh, cut my talk a little shorter than I expected as we are running a little behind the time. So I'm going to show you where we are. I am currently there. And uh, behind uh, me, uh, in my uh, backdrop, you have been seeing Adarakanda, which is, uh, the I would say, the symbol of Sabaragamu and uh, being the Montaigne University of Sri Lanka. What is this tall uh, term? Montaigne may not be very familiar to my, some of you, but it's just to talk about the mountains surrounding us, right? And then we are going to talk a little bit, uh, very briefly about our history and the faculty the departments, and especially our plans for you. And uh, I'm going to end with some thoughts for the future, which is in your hands, right? So uh, many of you may have traveled in the Badulla Road from Colombo to Badulla, which is usually known as the A4 Road. Of course, Colombo to Badulla is not the A4 Road. A4 Road is Colombo to uh, Baticalo. However, uh, in the track, between uh, Colombo and uh, Beragala, you are passing through Balangoda. After Balangoda, you come to this uh, beautiful surroundings that we call Belihulloy. 
Benihul uh, is in the Imbulpe uh, DS division in the Ratnapur district in the Sabaragam province. So we are representing the Sabaragam University. And you can see by this uh, uh, satellite photograph how nicely located our uh, university is in green surroundings, which are not polluted by the uh, human habitations to the extent that we can see in many parts of the country. And we are very close to, uh, in this particular map, it's called Kirikatioya, or otherwise there is, uh, it's uh, usually called by the people uh, as Kirikatioya, which is uh, the, uh, the other tributary than the Belihul Loya, which is uh, providing water to the Samanalava Reservoir. Samanalava Reservoir is just uh, south of us, a few kilometers south of us. You can see that this is the reservoir, which is about eight, seven to eight kilometers south of us. And uh, our university is surrounded by this beautiful green surroundings and mountains. And in addition to that, uh, uh, there were a few occasions that uh, it was mentioned during this talk, during this session, that we are in a pretty important location in country. This is a photograph taken from Muddawalawa National Park. The camera was angled this way. And you can see there are two steps to climb from the lowlands of Sri Lanka to the highlands. And we are exactly located on this red dot. We have climbed halfway. This, this particular section is uh, the, be, below the red dot is the uh, Kalthota escarpment or the uh, uh, Handagiri escarpment which is a Mohora Baum, so if you know uh, in Singhala, the escarpments. And then just behind us is the Wells End escarpment, which takes you up to Horton Plains. So we are in a strip of land, which we call the second penny plain of Sri Lanka. And at the same time, climatically, I'm not going to describe this map to you, but you can see our red dot is in a pretty tiny uh, line between this A and uh, the B. A and B are the wet zone and the dry zone. So we are representing a very unique transitional uh, belt between the wet zone, which is currently very wet. We are experiencing the Southwest monsoon these days. And if you go to Beragala, just uh, uh, 20 minutes away, we are starting the dry zone from there up to Alava. Right? So we are in a very interesting location and we are in the foothills of the Samanal range of mountains. You may have heard of this uh, Samanal Khandu Vatiya because it's, it's been a, a, a topic of interest these days. Mahavali Kalani Kalu Yanavi Valave and Ganga, Samanal Khandu Pananga Tavada, Samanal Vatiya Pananga Kata. Right? You may have heard of this. Actually, it is the truth. This uh, what I show you here is the southern edge of the central mountains. In that southern, southern edge, we have the Horton Plains National Park in the center. From here to the east, we have Namunukula Range. But to the west, we have the Sri Pada Range. And this is the entire mountain range that starts from Sri Pada Peak until Kirigalpotta Peak in Horton Plains. This is Samanalavatiya. And we are just below the Samanalavatiya. We have so many influences from this wonderful mountain range. And these are just few hikes that you may take in your four years to come. Uh, you, we can uh, hike up to the Horton Plains through very picture, picturesque uh, uh, hikes. One is through uh, the Baker's Bend from uh, Nanpa Real Estate. Uh, or otherwise, there is a much uh, interesting uh, uh, hike you can do through the uh, Devil's Staircase from Kalupahana up to Horton Plains via Bambarakanda Falls, which is the, uh, the, the, the tallest fall in Sri Lanka, right? Waterfall in Sri Lanka. And I'm, uh, this is what I was uh, telling you earlier. We call it Adarakanda here in the Belihuloya. The student community has this uh, uh, own term that we are using for this mountain, which is actually the Paraviangala Mountain. On top, we can see the Wells End very clearly. And even behind my back, that's the Wells End escarpment that we are seeing. In addition to that, we are, there is another interesting mountain from another side of our uh, university, which is Hagalakand. And you guys will be doing this hike. 
This is our own students doing this every year, like the Peradenia uh, uh, graduates are going to Hantana Mountain, right? So I being a graduate from this fair own university, I have been here for 25 years by, uh, very, uh, by next year. As a student, I entered in the first batch in 1996. So each and every batch, 21 batches have done this journey up to uh, Adraka, right? And this is just to show you the uh, waterways that are for, uh, surrounding us, Belihul, Hirikatoya, and there's a multitude of uh, waterfalls, as I am showing here, as well as the Samanala uh, Reservoir, which is, of course, a peculiar reservoir among the other reservoirs of the country. And I'm not going to show each, of, I mean, name each of these falls. You will see them by your own eyes within the next four years of your life, right? Like academic life. So you are not going to just stay in the classroom. You will do the class work and the library work very well, and you will also be experiencing and appreciating this nature around us. This is the tallest uh, waterfall in Sri Lanka, Bambarakanda, just 15 minutes away from the university. And there are, as I told you, a number of waterfalls. Not only that, we have a very uh, important history uh, that is represented in the Velikula area. 10 minutes away from the university, we can see these uh, furnaces, uh, which, are, which were lit in the 17th to 18th uh, centuries uh, to melt iron. There have been native iron smelting blacksmiths. And there are number of interesting uh, ecological uh, reasons for that because this area today, and even last night, we were experiencing gusty, heavy winds coming from the southwestern monsoon. That wind has been used to smelt iron through burning a native tree species that is found here. So likewise, there are very interesting stories to share about Belihul. Yeah? And this has been uh, uh, selected by uh, the uh, education ministers uh, in 19, uh, late 1990s and the then president, uh, Mr. Premadasa, as uh, to uh, be built into a university. So very briefly, the university was uh, uh, started as an affiliated university college under the Sri Jayawardenepur University at the beginning. And the first two student groups who came here were struggling and were, were not really struggling to study, but they were, uh, they were protesting against uh, get them getting diplomas, just having one or two marks below the others who are in the universities. Uh, from the advanced levels. And the, their protest was uh, uh, heard after shedding sweat, uh, of course. However, the university was uh, was promoted or uh, established as the Sabaragamu University of Sri Lanka in the, uh, uh, in, uh, 19, uh, sorry, in 1995, based on uh, a Gazette notification. Right. So the first two batches who started their academics in 1992 did also get the degrees out of this national university. And by 1996, the first batch uh, that is entering the Sabaragama University of Sri Lanka as a national university came in. I was there on 23rd of October 1997. Right. So from there onwards, uh, we have been graduating. 5,500 students by now, right? Uh, not more, um, not the total. The total must be much larger than that. But the current student population has rise to 5,500, starting from 225 in 1992. We had only four faculties then, and now we have eight faculties and three more faculties in their making. So within your tenure as undergraduates, you are going to see the university becoming uh, a university with 11 faculties, right? And uh, we are, try, are trying our best and we are becoming uh, a, a center of excellence in higher education in Sri Lanka. 
especially in terms of learning as well as in research. You must have seen that in the talks of our department heads, how enthusiastic they were and uh, how uh, proud they are to say we have done this. We are almost there and we are generating uh, the, the workforce for Sri Lanka to thrive in the next uh, hundreds of years, right? And uh, with that, we have a very interesting emblem and a flag, as well as a very interesting university song. We, you are going to listen to that at the end of today's program. And you will see these uh, all these signs and uh, colors have their interesting meanings. And uh, by now, as I told you, we have fully fledged faculties with a lot of new developments still undergoing, but you can see the uh, picturesque buildings and the resources that we have, not only the buildings, uh, but also the other uh, resources such as the hostel facilities, uh, one of the best grounds in the entire Sabaragamu and Uwa provinces, and both the Uwa and Sabaragamu provinces are being served by this wonderful uh, resource we have, and the libraries, cafeterias, uh, study rooms, as well as uh, much plenty of open nature for you to enjoy and to study in is being provided here. Let's come into the Faculty of Applied Sciences. We actually uh, had the first batch entering in 1996, including myself, and we graduated in 2000. And as uh, our union representative was saying, uh, the Yadam Matin uh, Naum Bimata is celebrating the move that the faculty had from the initial original location in Buttala to the, uh, the Belihulu premises right now. So we have started uh, the university education, uh, not education, I mean the faculty have started its uh, activities in Belihulu mother university premises in 2008. And in addition to that, we are going to uh, new study programs, for example, the departments of sports science, as well as the uh, uh, CIS, the computing and information systems were not there initially. And uh, within these departments, we are currently uh, proposing so many new, mo more new study programs, and uh, even new faculties are going to now be born from the Faculty of Applied Sciences in the near future. Right, so these are some of the historical uh, milestones which I didn't really read through as we have gone through the time. But uh, of course you are going to learn about these things and uh, you will be inspired by this uh, more and more in the coming few days. Uh, finally, uh, I will just uh, show you uh, some laboratory facilities, sport facilities, and these are some of the details of our studentship by 2020. We had about 1,000. Now we have about, we have about 1,700, right? Uh, and uh, we have uh, quite a number of uh, lecture theaters and uh, uh, laboratories in our building. And we are now uh, going to have, I mean, for you guys, we are going to have a new building for the faculty, the phase two of the applied science faculty. Uh, which will be declared open in August, right? And these are the departments and you went through the departmental uh, discussions. So I'm not going to repeat that here. However, we are offering several six, I mean, level six SLQF, Sri Lanka Qualification Framework, level six degree programs, and about two level five degree programs as well. Each department head uh, explained about them. and. Uh, these are our plans for you in the future. So the degree that you are getting, you will be getting in four years time, is an applied science degree. The pure sciences, of course, is important for the development of the disciplines itself, but for the development of the country, but for the application of that scientific knowledge for the betterment of the humanity comes with applied sciences. And you are in the right place at the right time to uh, make Sri Lanka a better place in the next 10 years. Each of you will be doing uh, your bit for the nation and for the world in uh, time to come. And each of you will be traveling the world. Each of you will be 
uh, significant, important figures in your own fields, developing Sri Lanka to the next level, right? So uh, the core structure will be uh, with uh, a basic uh, scientific knowledge in your first years. Then in the second years, you will uh, start learning your core subjects. And third and fourth years will be more advanced topics in your disciplines. And especially in the final year, each of you will be finalizing uh, with uh, uh, final, uh, finishing your degrees, becoming scientists. You will find something new for the established knowledge base of the science of the world. So you are you will come out as a scientist, as an applied scientist, who will be applying that knowledge for the betterment of the human. And one more important thing that is uh, also important to explain about our orientation program is that all the courses will be conducted exclusively in English. So this is your last option, last uh, occasion to master your English before you start your academia, which is our orientation program. So our orientation program will be uh, comprising about 14 days of an intensive English course starting from tomorrow morning, right? And uh, we will uh, also be going to the field, doing a lot of uh, fun, uh, full activities, as well as having a very good um, uh, uh, staff-student relationship in our faculty. As uh, Mr. Hassar was explaining uh, very correctly, we always have uh, been trying to maintain that family environment in our faculty. Uh, although we have so many things to argue about and work towards a common goal, right? We are doing that, and you will see how we are, we are doing that. And these are our plans, uh, which are actually becoming real in 2022, right? Our new faculty building, as well as this is going to be all yours. This is going to be the uh, proposed innovation center and the students' commons, learning commons. So you will be taking uh, place in these new buildings in the near future. And we are producing some of the most employable graduates in the Sri Lankan, uh, fulfilling the needs of the country, right? So applied sciences have been in the top among our faculties in the, in the, in the university, as well as our university has been among the top four in all the university, all the science faculty, uh, uh, among the all among all the science faculties or the science stream faculties in the whole Sri Lanka. So your future is assured and we are going to make sure that it will be much more better in four times that you are getting graduated, right? And finally, these are some uh, thoughts for your future planning because today you will start your life. Whatever has happened in, uh, until yesterday, just forget them. This is the new beginning for each of you. Have these in your minds written very sharply, right? Uh, the degree is not only to provide you with career opportunities and opportunities and the knowledge. It's the, we are developing you to serve our country, serve our nation. Of course, serve the world, right? If, if you go abroad and serve the world, that's of course wonderful. But let's give priority to the needs of our people who are paying their tax to looking after you until now. And they are going to look after you for the next four years as well. All these facilities, even us mentoring you and teaching you and making you the bright stars in the future are maintained by the common people of the country. So we have a, 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 a solid uh, responsibility to uh, look for the country's future and make the make the hopes of those people, the common people who are paying tax to maintain us, to have that future in Sri Lanka. It's you who are going to do that. And we are sure that you will make that and we will try our best to make the environment for that, right? Okay, I think that's uh, all I have to say in this uh, uh, initial uh, talk because uh, I also am the senior student counselor of the faculty. 
So I will be uh, coordinating the orientation program starting from today, and we will go for one whole month until we start our first year, first semester academics on the 30th of September, right? So hang with us, hang with uh, me and my team, and also the Dean, Madam, and the entire staff will be meeting you over the next few days. So we wish, I mean, virtually, unfortunately for now. However, we all are joining hands in wishing you a happy journey. And you are going to have all your uh, hopes fulfilled in your, uh, during the four years of your life spending with us in Sabaraga, right? Thank you so much. And over to you, Deep Chandi. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Seeing you here and listening to you itself, only only listening, listening to you and your talk must have been a real motivation for all our new students who are joining the Faculty of Applied Sciences today. And I don't think that I need to explain it to you all. I'm really happy that we were privileged to have some research talk inside this session. And I know that the motivation he delivered through his speech would really be with you for the next entire career of your uh, undergraduate life. Thank you, uh, sir. Can I excuse uh, for a second? Uh, if uh, if uh, Mr. Hasaru is available, we can uh, get him to finish his talk because uh, there was a technical difficulty. Are you available, Hasaru? Yes, sir. Yeah, please. Uh, I think you couldn't finish your talk. So we would like to give you a few more minutes to finish your talk. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Uh, all, uh, all I mentioned about uh, this work and effort we take uh, to improve the community, society, and the relationship between the students. Uh, as we uh, go on this journey, we can get off again. we can uh, work together for a better future finally i would like to say something adarniya nangi malli api vishwavidyala shishya hatiyata Adhyapane Pramukha Karagana Vagema Kalava Frida Sashisha Desha Palneki in a Katutual Paripurna Venoni. It was a my Sampurna Vishvidyal Sikshe Kati, the Mevatra Hatra Vasani, a bit of May Kiena Journey Eker, Avasan Karana Puluan Veni. Ega Teka Matakaran Noni. Maker Nangla Malata Jivite Labunu. Vishalatama Avastava Sielu de Metaning Venaskaran Pula Eva Gamer Kianone Avasana Machine Pitis Sangame Hoshi Sangame Nanglaman Ladder Duratanak Neme Langamatana, may we should judge you day Animare. Angle Malad Panagina, Onam, a get look area of Stavati, Pundesi Virahita, Penis it never, Eva Gima Tama, Akianone, May Anne Itamat Apahasu Kalasima, make Covid nineteen, Pata Vernia thick, daughter, Anivar in Idore get a pass, Vesta Vatinovagi, Yvasala in the Nangivali, Anivar in Sante family. Stuti, Matame Avasta, Labadima, some Monday, Pita Advet to me, Adinansa di Pati Tumansa to me and Lag, Sil Macha Riverunta, Savishes to Tia Kalinga Achari to Martusa, Sandun Pirachar to Mart, Memote, 
පිළිගන්වන්න ඕනේ. ගත් එක්ක නංගල මල්ලට මේ කතාව මෙතනින් අවසන් කරගන්න ඕනේ. සුබ දවසක් අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම සුබ අනාගතයකට. මම සියලු දිනාටම සුබ අනාගතයක් කියලා ප්‍රාර්ථනා කරනවා. Thank you. Thank you sir. Thank you Hasru. Thank you, Mr. Nirmana, again. And I'm sure the new brotherhood that you all are going to welcome will be uh, like uh, your own sisters and brothers, and they will see how you develop yourselves as you get uh, to the society after completion of your four years of life here. And we are really glad to see the unity that you all have been developing in the Faculty of Applied Sciences as one single family. Thank you. So our program, actually, we are a little behind. We are a little behind the schedule. And you must be a little tired by now. So let us take a small break and meet back at 10.30. Before that, on behalf of the organization committee, uh, I let me extend my sincere thanks to the vice chancellor, sir, the dean, faculty of applied sciences, Rasangi madam, and the entire staff who have been here throughout the entire session as well. The computer center and for all the facilities that were provided for us in this live streaming session and all that is also greatly acknowledged. After the break, we will be getting into the next step for the day, which is the keynote speech. So let us all meet again at 10.30 a.m. Thank you. spectacular landscape of Bellevue Lawyer. The State University in Sri Lanka was the Sabaragamu University of Sri Lanka set up in the beautiful and spectacular landscape of Bellevue Lawyer in Ratnapura district of the Sabaragamu province. The Sabaragamu University of Sri Lanka is one of the leading state universities
universities in Sri Lanka was established under the Universities Act No. 16 of 1978 on 7th November 1995 and ceremonially inaugurated on 2nd February 1996. There are eight faculties such as Faculty of Medicine, Agricultural Sciences, Applied Sciences, Geomatics, Management Studies, Social Sciences and Languages, Technology and Graduate Studies. Apart from the academics, University is well facilitated to acquire knowledge, experiences and exposures from sports, religious, aesthetical and social activities. Students have blessed with plenty of opportunities to build up their networks and strengthen their personalities without having any boundaries. Most prominently, the surrounding with beautiful landscapes, waterfalls, reservoirs with natural and wild beauty is an added value for the university itself. The Faculty of Applied Sciences of the Sabargam University of Sri Lanka comprises with five departments including the Department of Natural Resources, the Department of Physical Sciences and Technology, the Department of Food Science and Technology, the Department of Computing and Information Systems and the Department of Sports Sciences and Physical Education. The Department of Food Science and Technology offers a four-year BSc Honours degree program in Food Science and Technology. Our students get the opportunity to complete a rigorous scientific curriculum that is designed to expand the understanding of biological, microbiological, chemical, physical, sensory, nutritional and engineering properties of the food, food commodities and their processing technologies. We offer a comprehensive undergraduate program that prepare our graduates well qualified for numerous job opportunities in the food industry, academia and government. The Department of Natural Resources offers bachelor's and honors degrees in environmental sciences and natural resource management. Our degree programs are designed to cater to the current needs in the fields of environmental management, earth resource management and biodiversity conservation and management. The department is comprised of eminent scientists and the dynamic curriculum makes our graduate well qualified for numerous job opportunities in the world itself. The Department of Computing and Information Systems offers BSc Honors Degree Program in Computing and Information Systems and BSc Honors Degree Program in Software Engineering. At present, the department is empowered with a highly qualified and competent panel of academic staff. Throughout its journey, the department has produced over 500 graduates, securing about 90% of employability. The degree programs also pave an excellent pathway for postgraduate studies as well. At the Department of Physical Sciences and Technology, four degree programs are available including BSc degree in Physical Sciences, BSc Honours Degree in Applied Physics, Chemical Technology and Computer Science and Technology. All theoretical course units are heavily supported by a practical component which provides the preliminary experience to perform confidently. The mini-projects conducted throughout the third and fourth academic years stimulate the students' creative and innovative thinking. Finally, a project for one entire semester exposes the undergraduates to the working environment and provides hands-on experience in the industry before graduation. The Department of Sports Sciences and Physical Education is one of the youngest departments in the Faculty of Applied Sciences. The department is the pioneering reputed higher educational center for producing sports sciences and physical education graduates in the national context. Currently, it offers two full-time honors degree programs as BSc Honors Degree in Sports Sciences and Management and BSc Honors Degree in Physical Education. Undergraduates of the department learn through real-life experiences and exposed to an exceptional sporting environment. Currently, many national and international level athletes are reading their undergraduate studies in the department. So we, as the faculty of Applied Sciences of Sabaragam University of Sri Lanka is waiting for you amidst of such a wonderful environment to cater your higher educational requirements in an incomparable approach.
the Sabragamu University of Sri Lanka, a pathway towards the excellence in higher education. The Sabragamu University of Sri Lanka is situated in an attractive, picturesque and mountainous location, Belihulla. A greenish environment ideal for a university in the Sabragamu province of Sri Lanka, 162 kilometers away from Colombo, the capital of the country. The Sabragamu Affiliated University College was one such institution formed in affiliation with the University of Sri Jawadalpur. Established in Belihulaya, in the Sabragamu province on 20th November 1991 under the Sabragamu province affiliated university ordinance number 14 of 1992 the Sabragamu affiliated university college was ceremoniously declared open by his excellency premadasa the then president of the democratic socialist republic of sri lanka on 8th february 1992 following the opening the academic programs of the college commence on 7th May 1992. Professor Dhananda Sumasundara, the founding director of the college, was determined that the Sabragamo Affiliated University College should become a national university. Guided by his motivation, the academic, administrative and non-academic staff, as well as the students, and the nearby communities actively contributed towards the development and promotion of the college into a national university. As a result, the government decided to elevate the Sabaragamo Affiliated University College to the status of a national university, amalgamating two affiliated university colleges located in the Uva province, one in Rahangala conducting Diploma in Agricultural Sciences and the other in Bhutthala conducting Diploma in Food Science. The Sabragamal Province Affiliated University College conducted three diploma programs Travel and Tourism Management, Accountancy and Finance and English. The first student batch of the Affiliated University College included 225 students the number of first academic staff was eight, excluding several visiting academic members from outside universities and institutions. There were 14 non-academic and administrative staff. Considering the progress of Sabargamu Affiliated University College and the long-felt and much-awaited dream, it was promoted as a national university through the gasset notification announcing the establishment of the Sabragamu University of Sri Lanka on 7th November 1995. At the ceremonial gathering on 2nd February 1996, the newly established university was declared open by Honorable Mrs. Srimavu R.D. Bandaranayaka, the then Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. At the inception, the university boasted of four faculties. The Faculty of Business Studies, the Faculty of Social Sciences and Languages, the Faculty of Agricultural Sciences, and the Faculty of Applied Sciences. All the university legal bodies, the Council, the Senate, and the respective faculty boards came into being within a short period. For the first time in the university history of Sri Lanka, Sabaragamu University of Sri Lanka introduced a degree course in surveying sciences in 1997. In response to the demands, the Faculty of Agricultural Sciences was moved to Belichal Lawyer in 2001. Meanwhile, the Faculty of Applied Sciences was moved from Butzler to the main university premises in Belihullur in 2008 for the same reason. Professor Dhananda Sumasundra was the first Vice Chancellor of the Sabragamu University of Sri Lanka from 1995 to 2001, 
followed by Professor I. K. Pereira from 2001 to 2004, Professor Ruhana P. Mahalianarachi from 2005 to 2008, Professor Mahindu S. Rupa Singh from 2008 to 2014, Professor Chandana P. Udavatsa from 2014 to 2017. Professor M. Suresh Shanta from 2017 to 2020. And the present Vice Chancellor, Professor Uday Ratnayaka. At present, the university has eight faculties, namely Graduate Studies, Agricultural Sciences, Applied Sciences, Management Studies, Social Sciences and Languages, Geomatics, Technology, and medicine. In addition, it provides its service through several other institutes and centers, and most of the study programs are conducted in English medium. Compared to its past, the university has achieved an astounding level of infrastructural development, including new building complexes, fully equipped lecture theaters, computer labs with Wi Fi and laboratories for the following faculties management studies social sciences and languages applied sciences geomatics and agricultural sciences for the faculty of agricultural sciences there is a teaching farm of around 38 acres of land comprising livestock production and horticulture including a farm stay which is a part of the Department of Agribusiness Management. The laying of the foundation stone for the construction of the new faculty complex phase one of the Faculty of Agricultural Sciences of the Sabarakumar University of Sri Lanka was held on Saturday, 21st November 2020 in the main university premises. The new buildings of the Faculty of Applied Sciences and the second phase of the building complex of the Faculty of Social Sciences and Languages was ceremoniously declared open on 31st March 2012 by His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksha, the then President of Sri Lanka. The University offers its graduate qualifications to the Faculty of Graduate Studies. The availability of several non-traditional yet technologically influential courses leading to graduate qualifications has left a positive mark upon the university highlighting the distinctiveness of the faculty within the national university system in the country. The faculty of technology is the seventh faculty of the university. It has been established in the main university premises at Ballyhulara. From 2018, the faculty intends to accommodate 75 students annually. The construction of the fully fledged up to date faculty complex will be commenced shortly under a loan worth of 31 million US dollars from the Asian Development Bank. The Faculty of Medicine of the Sabaragamid University of Sri Lanka is the newest addition to the chain of medical faculties in the country. It becomes the eighth faculty of the university. The faculty is established in Ratnapura, while the Provincial General Hospital Ratnapura serves as the teaching hospital for the faculty, providing all clinical training facilities for the students laying foundation for the construction of the paraclinical and administrative blocks of the Faculty of Medicine. The university possesses a large number of study centers and units to increase the relevance and quality of the degree and other study programs which would ultimately cater to boost the university excellence. These include the following. Center for Computer Studies, Center for Indigenous Knowledge and Community Studies, Center for Research and Knowledge Dissemination, 
Agribusiness and Research Development Center, Staff Development Center, Center for Open and Distance Learning, Career Guidance Unit, and the Department of Physical Education. The University Business Link Cage Cell of the Sabaragamid University of Sri Lanka was established in May 2018. It has taken the responsibility to link the university to such and innovation activities with external business stakeholders. One of the major goals of the university is to create a positive research environment and develop a university infrastructure that assists both academics and students alike to obtain and maintain the highest academic standards within the university. The university conducts an international symposium every two years and it covers multidisciplinary researchers. This symposium provides excellent opportunities for national and international researchers and the students of the university. In addition to the international symposium, some faculties of the university conduct their own annual academic symposia under different themes. The housing project for the staff and the student canteen Meanwhile, the construction of the new building complex for the library, which is the heart of an academic institution, the playground and pavilion have already been completed in order to facilitate the students of the university for their sports activities in general and the sports science and physical education degree program in particular. Further, the students of all batches are provided with hostel facilities. Newly constructed hostels are capable of accommodating over 2,000 students while the rest of the student population is accommodated with hostels rented by the university. Within a short period, the university has become a center of academic excellence in higher education and has recorded a significant achievement in teaching, research and other key areas within the education system of the country. Thus, the Sabrigamu University of Sri Lanka, with all its existing and oncoming physical and personal resources for the production of fully-fledged graduates, is harnessed to the development of Sri Lanka at large by succeeding in its mission to be a center in the forefront of generation, advancement and dissemination of knowledge while promoting learning, research and training to produce competent human resources possessing knowledge, skills and attitudes to contribute to a sustainable development and fulfilling its vision to be an internationally acclaimed center of excellence in higher learning and research. The Sabrigamud University of Sri Lanka, a pathway towards the excellence in higher education. The Sabrigamud University of Sri Lanka is situated in an attractive, picturesque and mountainous location, Belihullara. A greenish environment ideal for a university in the Sabrigamud province of Sri Lanka, 162 kilometers away from Colombo. 
the capital of the country. The Sabaragulo Affiliated University College was one such institution formed in affiliation with the University of Sri Jawadharpur. Established in Belihulaya in the Sabaragulo province on 20th November 1991 under the Sabaragulo province affiliated university ordinance number 14 of 1992. The Sabaragamo Affiliated University College was ceremoniously declared open by His Excellency Premadasa, the then President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, on 8 February 1992. Following the opening, the academic programs of the college commenced on 7 May 1992. Professor Dayananda Sumasundara, the founding director of the college, was determined that the Sabaragamo Affiliated University College should become a national university. Guided by his motivation, the academic, administrative and non-academic staff, as well as the students and the nearby communities, actively contributed towards the development and promotion of the college into a national university. As a result, the government decided to elevate the Sabaragamo Affiliated University College to the status of a national university, amalgamating two affiliated university colleges located in the Uva province, one in Rahangala, conducting Diploma in Agricultural Sciences, and the other in Bhutthala, conducting Diploma in Food Science. The Sabrigamal Province Affiliated University College conducted three diploma programs Travel and Tourism Management, Accountancy and Finance, and English. The first student batch of the Affiliated University College included 225 students. The number of first academic staff was eight excluding several visiting academic members from outside universities and institutions. There were 14 non-academic and administrative staff. Considering the progress of Sabargamo Affiliated University College and the long-felt and much-awaited dream, it was promoted as a national university through the Gasset notification announcing the establishment of the Sabargamo University of Sri Lanka on 7th November 1995. At the ceremonial gathering on 2nd February 1996, the newly established university was declared open by Honorable Mrs. Srimavu Adi Bandaranayaka, the then Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. At the inception, the university boasted of four faculties the Faculty of Business Studies, the Faculty of Social Sciences and Languages, the Faculty of Agricultural Sciences, and the Faculty of Applied Sciences. All the university legal bodies, the Council, the Senate, and the respective faculty boards, came into being within a short period. For the first time in the university history of Sri Lanka, Sabaragamu University of Sri Lanka introduced a degree course in surveying sciences in 1997. In response to the demands, the Faculty of Agricultural Sciences was moved to Bellicle Lawyer in 2001. Meanwhile, the Faculty of Applied Sciences was moved from Butler to the main university premises in Belihulur in 2008 for the same reason. Professor Dayananda Sumasundra was the first Vice Chancellor of the Sabargamo University of Sri Lanka from 1995 to 2001, followed by Professor I. K. Pereira from 2001 to 2004.
Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the uh, next session of our orientation program. Staying focused and motivated could be one of the most significant requirements in one's life in pursuing his dreams. Today, as the society undergoes critical changes owing to the ongoing pandemic, staying focused and motivated has become crucially necessary for all of us than ever. We are ahead of our keynote speech of the day, and let me take the privilege of briefly introducing our keynote speaker. Professor Kavindra Koswatege is a professor in physics from the Department of Engineering Technology, Faculty of Technology, Sabaragam University of Sri Lanka. He's a well reputed researcher and a scientist with numerous recognized publications, including in top ranked journals. Professor Koswatege also is the director of the Career Guidance Unit of Sabaragam University of Sri Lanka. And let me also mentioned that he has been a very cooperative resource person for the Faculty of Applied Sciences for a long time as well. Professor Koswatage, I cordially invite you to the to your keynote speech. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, good morning all. So hope I am audible. Yes, yes, you are, Professor. Yeah. Okay, okay. So good morning all, and uh, thank you very much uh, for the uh, generous introduction. Uh, Dean of the Faculty, uh, Dr. Asangi Sabaragamu, and uh, Heads of the Department, Deputy Senior Student Counselor, Dr. Sandun Pereira, and uh, professors and lecturers in the Faculty of Applied Sciences. So dear students, it is indeed an immense pleasure uh, to address you at uh, your very first day of your university career. So you are here in the Faculty of Applied Sciences. In fact, uh, the Faculty of Applied Sciences, the wonderful place where I have learned a lot in my professional career. I can say the Faculty of Applied Sciences is my uh, alma mater of my professional career where I have started my professional career as senior lecturer in Faculty of Applied Sciences and subsequently moved to Faculty of Technology where I am today. So first of all, uh, I would like to congratulate uh, you all, the freshers, freshmen uh, to the Faculty of Applied Sciences. So you all are very lucky students, which is clearly implied after seeing the statistics given by UGC, because you have been selected to Sabaragam University, where around 80% of students who did advance level with you, they have not been selected for university education. So no doubt about that all, that you are, are really a lucky student. You, have, you, you are here because of uh, your hard work and tremendous uh, commitment and the dedication, of course. So after seeing uh, the virtual journey of uh, surroundings uh, of Sabaragam University by uh, Dr. Uh, Sandun Pereira, Sandun Pereira, uh, one of the great, uh, great, great product of Sabaragam University, uh, he was in the uh, Applied Science uh, first batch, uh, one of the most senior alumni member of uh, Faculty of Applied Sciences. Uh, I, I definitely uh, know you all are eager uh, to come to the university premises to enjoy uh, this beautiful nature in a uh, beautiful uh, Valley Hill area. So students, just keep your fingers crossed. Hope uh, the opportunity will be in our vicinity soon. So today is uh, the very first day in your university life. I can say it is new pace of life. 
So you, you are embarking on a journey uh, which is going to be the most important phase of your life. So you can find clear discrepancy between the experience you had so far during your school time and you are going to have during your time in university, which will I will talk, which I will talk later. I just want to say that there is clear discrepancy. So otherwise, Vishesha Dawasak or a Jivite Vishala Sandhistane King. Take a Rambaka Dawasadai. While I Sandaha Vasana Vantalesa, while I get Kapadi, me Pratipale King, Teri Patalain, Sabaragam Vishid, we are Harik with Japite. We are Harik with Japite and Visheshistane. A e, 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 Visheshate Obo Matudineka, Vishesha Pudgale, Karanava, my me Gamana. A can Obo Vishesha Pudgale, Kuana Gamane. A Vishesha Pudgali Kuin a Vedaka deut the bar of a new buttermai. A can me Vasara Hatara Tura Kale, the Oba Vishesha Pudgali, Kimi, Vagakima, some poor in Mapavilla, the no buttermai. Kimi Vasara Hatara Harima Vedder. So sir, there are four. Sir, uh, just give us a second. There, there's a technical difficulty on the feed. Okay. Sorry. Okay, now, now go ahead, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, sorry for the interruption. And uh, so, as I said, that uh, make other Visheshama Dawasa. So, Jivita Vishala Sandhistane Arambaka and Dawasa Dai. I think while Harima Vasana Vanta, you are a Teri Patala in Sabaragam Vishidari, we are Harik Vidya Pete. Teri Patalatin, while I get daddy Kapa women, Mahansin, Labagat, Pratipalyak together. If you are Harik with the Pete and the Runi, Vishesha Stania. The me Vishesha Stania, while our Matu Dineka, Vishesha Pudgale, Karanava, my. It may be Vishesha Pudgale to be me, whether Katiuta, Barvela Tieno, Alatama. It may was a Hatteratula di. While daddy Kappa V may be Vishesha put the lake via you to my. Timmy Vassar Hatra at the Sheva de Gat. So there are uh, four years of life where you are the key of your success and you are the most significant part of your success. So you are in a very special faculty. You are going to be very special. You are the one who put you into the trajectory towards success. Wag Jivite Mehema was Tava Quata Mita Sel Hambilane Hamadisem Majivite Sartakatia Klabanakota Samaharlata Demopio, Pasal Guru Tamai Quata Daddy Sahayoga Klabadun. Where may other Patanga on a journey, a case Arthur Katte, Tanikar Matir Naker and no way I see him. It didn't make a tissue at the guts on this time. Since my subject is physics, as you all have learned physics during your advanced level, uh, except some of students in sports science uh, department. So I would like to say that you are the one who control your motion towards success. Obey Sartha Katte Yana Gamane Chalite Tirane Kran Oba Visin Mai. A Pal Nekran Toba Visin Mai. It taken sa me Chalite Padanang Velatin Oba Kiana Sankal Petura. So you are the one who control your motion towards success. There are certain times you have to move steadily. I can say with constant velocity, no force at all. So you can move steadily. There are times that you have to accelerate 
you had to give uh, an extra effort. And there are certain time you had to de-accelerate. De so whatever it is, you are the one who control your motion. It is like a governor, Sartha Kathir Harayana me governor, ये चालिते मामा की हो अगे तीरनात्मक साधक है वो यहाँ मटा माय प्राथमिक विद्या विद्या पी कथा कर लती है ना वा समाहर लावट आपे चालिता आपे गमन करना एकाकार प्रवेश ये की मैं विलावट आपे डे किसी में बाहर बाले अपने आपे एकाकार प्रवेश इन गमन करना समाहर तंगवर जब आपे डे चालिते डे जा कितना कराने सिद्ध है नो आपे � समार तांगवाले दी अभी तो बाहर ही रहेंगे ना बाले वैदी वेला अभी मंदर नहीं करते बाज नहीं बनो वो हम अगर तभी यहाँ पे गामने आनो सो यू आर द वन हु कंट्रोल ऑल द प्रोसेस हियर यू आर द वन हु कंट्रोल योर मोशन टुवर्ड सक्सेस इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट यू हैव टू कीप योर मोमेंटम विथ यू अब तक देखा तो देख बहुत ही विद्या विधि में भी खता करने मोमेंटम में का गम में था अभी इट में डिफिकल्ट टू एक्सेलरेट टुवर्ड योर सक्सेस इट इस सिमिलर टू द फिजिक्स इन फिजिक्स देयर आ देयर इस टेंडेंसी ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट टू रेसिस द स्टेट ऑफ चेंज ओ वी कैन से टेंडेंसी ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट ट� अभी दानव बहुत ही के विद्या जब अभी मेरा कहना कथा कर लेती है ना हम तो इससे वो नम्बर वस्तुओं का चालीस तेरा दिए ना कम ऐसा ऐसा विनाशी मर दिए ना कम ऐसा अभी मेरा कहना आवश्यक दिए गया the phenomena in physics are defined as inertia it is a tendency of an object to resist the state of change वो टेंडेंसी ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट तू रिमेन इन इट्स एक्सिस्टिंग स्टेट है मतलब इस समय इन्ने के इन्ने तमाय क्या मती इन्ने विधि ये इन्ने क्या मती पैडी पुरा निदागन ना वाला निदागन ना दिया पैडी पुरो वेला वाला इन्ने क्या मती बट इन यूनिवर्सिटी लाइफ इफ यू वांट टू गेट सक्सेस यू हैव टू So in physics, as I said, that an object tends to stay at rest if it is at rest, or tends to moving if it's moving. The phenomena is that. So every time, what we have to do is that keep doing what is doing unless acting of the unbalanced force. अभी मैं कहीं गरीब गरीब थी ना मैं कभी लाइफ फिर कटा अप्लाई करूँ. अभी अनबैलेंस फोर्स से आके ना वो तो अभी चेंज करेगा ना बालम. अभी एक्सेलरेट करेगा ना बालम. अभी तो पोट डाक्टर मना मारू ना अभी चोटी वेला वक मंदने के टे बाज नहीं बिमो। सो सिमिलर सिचुएशन ऑफ़ द लाइफ। नॉट सो इजी टू चेंज सम ऑफ़ सम ऑफ़ योर बिहेवियर इन योर लाइफ। बट द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज क्रिएटिंग मोमेंटम इन योर लाइफ। इट इज़ रियली इम्पोर्टेंट Momentum of your life means that doing a little more of the things that move, that move you forward, and a little less of the things that hold you back. So I always feel that the momentum makes a significant impact of your success. Iri mama, hamadi se misaas karna diya tamai. में गम में तावे मोमेंटम में का अपने लाइफ में का तीरनात में का करना प्रदान साधक या कपे जीवित तीरना ती अपने जीवित तीरनात में का प्रदान साधक या दी मोमेंटम में का अपने जीवित जीरे टक गने आए मोमेंटम में का डूना हम अपने चूट टक पास से टे है भाई अपने मातकती आगान और यू हैड टू चेंज द स्टेट ऑफ योर मोशन ऐ हम आपस से डाबू हम अवेल आओ का मापी नेवता वता आवक दायर संपन्न नम इस सराहते अन्न मत कती आगन नहीं मेक तमाय वैद्य करते नहीं 
So momentum makes significant impact of your success. My topic of uh, today is stay focused and motivated. These particular two commands, I can say these are commands, which should be your bottom line during your stay in Sabaragam University of Sri Lanka. They are these particular two commands of stay focused and motivated, creating momentum in your life. So this will move forward your life and increasing the things, things that you move you forward and decreasing those that hold you back. Stay focused and motivated. You have to keep your momentum. Stay focused, the motivated Kiana Vachanadeka. Make a boss art of a good girl eight karai. Eating Ekaniza, make a tisha Vadega. Apia Viganagan, Apis Abaragam wish with the Aleda Viganagan. Ape Muli Karamun Eganagan. Samar Lava Tape Daru, may they were lulling eyeing villa, may focus second ethical again. Sabaragam wish with the Aleta Apu, Vadagat Made Amataka Kerala, Karanapuang through Hema de Makarela, Vela Vakti Bavela, Viganagan Nagan. A canny pet revenue known. Muli Karamun again again him, Vela Vakti Bavela, it through the Valtigran. Stay focus. So you are here to study. Stay focused. You have to keep your momentum. You have to keep your momentum. You have to be focused. 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 You have to it is indispensable to keep your momentum with you all the time. Two commands of stay focused and motivated help you to stay with the momentum. And there are several tips I can give you to keep your momentum with you. Upa this keep yag mata denna puluam me momentum meko atektama tiyagan. Then up here, Momo Piligan, no make up it yaga to the act here. Make up it to let yaga to you too much. So you, you, you can do this type of small things. Create your picture of success and make it a reality. So you, can, you, you can't see your vision of success, you will never get there. Give the hammer cut you to get a milaki at the end. No, Milaki in Toros Arta at the club again. Ima Itama Tasiru Katuta Obo be lucky than a garden. So, what does success look like for you day to day? You have to measure it. Well, I get Dawas in Dawas at the end of success. I measure Karagano. What does success look for you day to day? It's really important. How do you want to spend your time? How do you want to define success for yourself at a time T? The time T might be a day. 
a week, a month, or a year. Kumari Kaman Jivite me Sartha Kate Kieneke Ochera Durata Sartha Kate Langavila the Kiela Kalia take a belly you too much. Take a time, I may try him tea yellow key. Take a Kamati can put a dawas in dawas a balan puluang, week can make a progress, take a balan puluang, mass a mass at a balan puluang. Kumari Kamatne. It's really important that create your picture of success and make it a reality. You obey like a chitra acquired a carabin hari. Yeah, if you can make a chitter and acre not here. She threw a map lesser. Emma than much an appeal acquired. Waki can the key picking. But on a make a little pain at an king illa at the end of the world. Clear gun to pull on, phone naked a gun to pull on. Ethan a pain at an acquired. Emma like a jagat. Ganimot of a Gamanker, no Margi, over sitting a stane Obatamabal and Pulua. And the make of De Pandra, I'm a Simban Pulaman, then got another Magaji with a Sarta Kate Karayana Gaman in a gear. Catapotame Ilaka Jagan at the end of Manasika Pasubi, my be material. Be motivation Nicaragua. You have to commit to your dream. See, na ha kapavi matama isartha katte re laba gani mera problem asada keve. So you have to commit to your dream. Creating momentum uh, starts with commitment. So you have to move through your dream. Commit to doing one of the ideas about that will move you closer to your dreams. It's about anticipating. A sihina gama labagan, sihina vitayana margeta, obadakpana kapavi, ma oboe ten tani maringeniai. Ekanisa, tisha vadega. Commit to your dreams. Another thing is uh, positivity. So positivity uh, makes it easier to achieve your goals. So positive makes it easier to achieve your goals. That because of when you are in a positive frame of mind, you can make better decision. Hamat is sema danat mako in the Vera Katamai Hondama Bishadum Labagan Fulu. That is why that positivity is really important. When you are in a positive frame of mind, you can make better decisions. In your university life, there are certain things you have to take positive. For an example, you cannot think as I am not good. You have to think like uh, what I am missing. Even if you think that uh, I am awesome at this, it's better to think I am on the right track. If you think that I give up, you have to think that uh, I will use some of the alternative or different strategies uh, to, to achieve this particular thing. And if you think that this is too hard, you have to think this may take some time and effort. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of your effort. एक 
මම මේකට දක්ෂ නැහැයි කියලා හිතුනොත් හිතන්න මට මේකට දක්ෂ නැති වෙන්න මට මොනවද මිස් වෙලා තියෙන්නේ කියලා හිතන්න If you think that I can't make this any better you have to think that I can always improve so I'll keep trying I'll keep trying Devani parath hitana I'll keep trying kala tungeni parath ehema ma hitanna Eka nisa hitunoth waata meka karaganna bae kiyala aniwaren oha hitanno ne vidiyata For an example sometimes the students who doesn't have uh, any mathematical backgrounds they may think i just can't do maths what to do, do that i am going to train my brain in maths mama mage buddhiya train karaganna maths igena ganna puluwan ene widiyata kiyala man hitana if you feel that i made a mistake you have to think that mistakes help me to learn better if you feel that i i, I have done something better it's good enough don't think like that like that way think that is it really my best of work pa podak improve karaganna puluwan weida so you have to think like that this is also important So you have to change your approach. You have to change your attitude. If you change your attitude, and also there are certain things you have to take it take it positively. Then uh, you can improve and you can move through the success of your life. So remember that you have four years to achieve your goal. you may think that there are there are many things i have to improve i am not good at uh, uh, this uh, and so on this is some sort of mindset of uh, about uh, of a university student even the 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 potential or that the level is at zero level still you have a time four years is uh, some something uh, long time avurudu hatarak kiyanne podi kaalayak nemi eti monawa hari ekaka oya hitanawa nan oya inne binduwe level eke kiyala binduwe level eke indala unat improve karaganna puluwa I can give you many examples considering uh, some personal characters who achieved top level in their professionality struggling at their beginning. එහෙම ඕන තරම් උදාහරණ අපිට ලෝකේ තියෙනවා. මුල් දවස්වල ඒගොල්ලෝ තමන්ගේ වෘත්තිය ලෙවල් එකේ බින්දුවේ හිටියේ. හැබැයි කාලෙත් එක්ක effort එකත් එක්ක ඒගොල්ලෝ බොහොම සාර්ථක තැනකට පත් වුණා. It's really surprisingly and amazingly Steve Spielberg was rejected uh, from the University of South California School of Theater uh, three times and then finally he got the degree from there Charlie Chaplin ha- had a hard time where he was performing at street in London Shahrukh Khan was a waiter Uh, and uh, we can say rajinikant uh, was a bus conductor so life uh, of uh, jk rowling was uh, filled with uh, lots of difficulties she failed to make progress uh, on her first book uh, many times finally just a matter of time they are that she got the success with the famous harry potter film and also books and how about uh, abraham lincoln he was very poor but became the president of uh, united states uh, in uh, 1961 so there are there are many examples so don't worry about uh, the the present state
So Bill Gates, uh, the co-founder of Microsoft, is one of the richest, richest people in the world, said that if you are born poor, it's not your mistake. But if you die poor, it's your mistake. You have to understand our greatest glory is not in never failing, but in rising every time we fail. Api duppatela ipaduno eka ape varad dakni me. E tapi duppate kvidre meruno te ka ape varad dakki ela Bill Gates ki ela tiyena. Anith eka tamai api jeevithe kavadawat fail wenna naha kiyana ekak naha. Fail wela fail wetcha hama welakama api negative ma tamai jeevithe tiyena glory eka. Eka oyawa thawat tissara hata ussala tiyena. जीवित बैठे ने हम मोहत तक मत आवश्यकति मारते हैं ना तमान हम मोहत तक मत दिनान उत्साह कला की न हंगी मत जीवित इधर देने नॉन में आवृत्त हाथ रिवर आना कोटा मां उत्साह या कराई की न का देने नो एक निशा में इन लेवल ले का गैना किसी में किन्हें पौर्य ने पादुक पेन ने पा मां उदाहरण न की पे आ दूँगा एक वो लोग को हम अपने जीवित है सार तक उन्हें हैटिक गिरो आल तो थवा दूर टक तोड़ना क्यों वाला बालान न खुलवा कितने एक निशा में लेवल ले का गैना किसी में दारु एक किसी में विद्या का डबोरी बन ने पा Hope you will have got some motivation as I said before there is a clear discrepancy between your school education which you have experienced so far the university education which you are going to experience from today onwards. The Hadili Venus at the end. Well, I school is going to get the video, so how this video is going to get the video. You have to learn how to learn in the university. By the God, my point is that my university is going to get the video. I'm going to get the video. Take me orientation program. I'm going to get the video. I'm going to get the video. We are going to learn how to learn in the university. So what is the difference? What is the difference of uh, university teaching and uh, university and school? So teaching staff at university are called lecturers. School staffs are so called teachers. Can I disturb you, Professor Kosaka, for yeah, a second? Sure. Sure. Uh, actually, uh, the students can uh, chat through the uh, uh, YouTube live. Okay. So if, if they if they have any issue, uh, in any comment or anything, they can chat. Yes. And uh, Mr. Karlinger can uh, communicate that to you through the uh, Zoom session, but I okay. don't think that will be that. Okay. Will, yeah. That's needed for now, but that option is there. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. So anyway, that. So if you ask, what is the difference of university and the school? So teaching staff uh, at university are called lecturers, and school staff are so called teachers. University के आप इक्या ने lecturers लगी है ना school ही थी आप इतने गुरु वालों teachers लो एक आदमी का मैंने साथ पढ़ी था माय थी समाज लाड़े लमाई के इंगे वो हम मुकाद्दे difference का किया ला समाज लमाई किया ना I think अरे इग्न वे कुमार दे आन्न कैसे वे तक उगान ना देवाल नो तेरे ने कुमार दे किया वाद नो तेरे ना काल वकवान वाद माँ गाता कर दी city क Iganagatte de keste vetat, Iganagatte de notere ne mukadda keela vat kiya gana bari kaalayak maa gata karami siti na kaalayak Vishwidyala kaalaya keela ape amara shishyo kiya hao iti. Mewa maan shishyo unge maa wall wall in tibila tamay mewa mamat di ganagatte. And what is the reason university students attend the lectures? The only reason why students attend the lectures uh, to keep attendance. 
එහෙමත් හිතන වෙලාවල් තියෙනවා ඇත්තටම ඒකොල්ලෝ ලෙක්චර් එකට ඇටෙන්ඩ් වෙන්නේ ලෙක්චර් එකේ ඇටෙන්ඩන්ස් තියා ගන්න කියලා. ඒක ඉගෙන ගන්න නෙමෙයි ඒ වගේ. ඉතින් මේ වගේ ගන්න අමුතු වෙච්ච වෙනස්කම් කීපයකුත් තියෙනවා කියලා අපේ ළමයි අතර තියෙන සංවාද වලින් මම ගත්ත දෙයක් තමයි. For me the biggest difference between the school and university is that you are treated as an adult in the university. අපි ඔයාව වැඩි හිටියෙක් විදියට සලකන්නේ university එකේදී. That means that you get to take greater control of that uh, how you spend your time and what you study it also means that your education is your responsibility no one is going to do it for you it's up to you to decide and it is your ultimate responsibility education education is your responsibility no one is going to do it for you university is emphatically not about spoon feeding and hand holding through the courses api kavadawath me spoon eke kiyala behet pona wage pona method ekak pawichchi karanna so you have to do everything by yourself at university you will no longer have parents or teachers chasing you up for your homework and reminding you are you about your deadline so you have to do everything that means that it's down to you to manage your time attend your lectures and get all of your assignments in in one t- on time don't wait uh, till the last time to do there is a concept of uh, university students if due tomorrow d u e tomorrow and then they do tomorrow due eka tomorrow eka nan egolo do karanne tomorrow ma thamai antim mohada wena gan inna so as i said that uh, the university you you will no longer have your parents or teachers chasing up for your homework or reminding your deadlines so you have to do these things don't don't use this particular concept due tomorrow and do tomorrow so try to do it uh, before the deadline so as i said that you have enrolled here to a special faculty the degree program and subject offered by the faculty being more practical based and industrial oriented so you got this impression the way that uh, you are heads of the department presented that you got this feeling those subjects are practical based and industrial oriented so all the heads that they have explained you and they have offered a range of academic programs and you are offered a wide range of course to select according to your preferences and you can eligible for such a courses so there are many opportunities for you so faculty of applied sciences is, is the best place for a building scientist it has a field of study for everyone it is a place where that the science research and innovation blended to provide a rewarding academic experience to students very simply this is a mix of conventional science and technology wala meka dan wataha gatta e anshaadi pativaru walata idiripat karahama meke tiyenawa range of academic programs and it's it's a place where that science research and innovations blend to provide rewarding academic experience to students the goal of is the goal of technology is to create product to solve problems and improve human life 
technology is used for applications of scientific knowledge for a specific purpose. So you are going to do this one. I can say there are two possibilities for you. So you may scientists with the knowledge of technology, you, or you may technologists with the knowledge of science. Scientists with the knowledge of technology or technologies with the knowledge of science. Since this is what you are going to know, you're going to learn. So scientists observe the world while technologies focus on creating. So you are going to do both. So technology and science in tandemly moving in faculty of applied sciences. These two fields are moving in tandem. Make a science faculty, a big and a Columbian city, a science faculty, make gun a very way. With an science and technology, they get a gaman kernel. The development of one field clearly effect to the development of the other field. A can get you knocked out of a can put on the dumb balapan. Remake a tulema pay partner in technology, a very end than Lamia. Science ready and then Lamia made in Nakatunahama on the partnership packet with Sir Hadian Napur. So, in this faculty, you are fortunate to acquire both science and technology knowledge. Because of this, you will be special science graduate. Ekatamai monkey, you are special Kenikwenakir. You can work in many fields, you can start your own business. You can easily go for further studies to any country, any institute in the world. engineering graduate medical graduate arts field field So that is why that you will be a special graduate. Last week, I got a call from one of our students uh, who graduated from the Department of Physical Science and Technology. Uh, she did chemistry, and she is in Canada regarding uh, reading for her PhD. And she shared her experience after conducting her experiment at huge experimental institute in Canada, so-called Canadian Light Source. It was my dream when I was Japan doing my PhD to go Canadian light source and do my experiment. According to my assumption and my knowledge, she might be the first Sri Lankan to perform experiment in Canadian light source. No doubt at all, Faculty of Applied Sciences in Sabaragam University with remarkable academic staff, I can say they are the best bunch of academic staff in the university. Sabaragam University, they are in Hondama academic members like a group peka in Vyarikavidyapite. So you got clear idea about the name of these lectures uh, from the introduction give, given by the head of the department. There are many professors and lecturers and they all are with a tremendous potential. Samara, Wala, Nitra, Upa, Nyingamad, Dekalatiyan. 
मंगितने अपने आचार्य संधु नो ये वाके आके रूपाही नहीं उन तरंग देख रहे थे ना so we can rank some of our academics among the top 10 scientists in sri lanka considering their respective fields ape in academics la apita pradana 10 ta danna puluwan e ayage subject area wala so you have a good lectures so from your side you have a responsibility to initiate a good dialogue with your lecturers it has been proven that the importance of interpersonal relationship with their lecturers an element to determines the student's academic success most of the successful students maintain good relationship with their lecturers ape tinna aachara mandalayema sabaragama vishwavidyalayema pass out lecture vishala sankhyawak sandun perera aachara tuma athuru so they all had a very nice communication with their lecturers respective lecturers so successful students maintain good relationship with their lecturers today we have experienced another prime example the way a student representative i think uh, mr nirman he delivered his talk uh, it is remarkable he showed his potential this is also reflecting the quality of applied science and i saw that some of the staff members sent message to the text line appreciating his effort so they are they are over the moon uh, by just watching their student success so hats off uh, for everyone it's it's a remarkable it's really inspired wonderful so this is some sort of win win situation i would like to emphasize again those who are responsible they will definitely shine who are not definitely will not shine eka nisa tamange jeevithe mama me kiyapu dewal tekka yana lamai aniwaren dinaka issarahata yanawa ma probably your parents with you this is extremely difficult time for you all uh, due to the pandemic situation of the country so your kids are engaging activities using internet idi man hitana dema piyoth me lamait ekko meka han innawa meka api hamota ma bohoma karadara kari kaalayak me corona uwadura nisa so especially you have to monitor what they all are doing these days we say parents have to monitor uh, what girls are uploading and what boys are watching me da asala api giyenawa demo api onda bala gana inna wedagath padayak thamai thamai antarjalaya bhavita karabin visheshen gehanu daru monoda upload karanna kirimi thamai monoda balanna ඒ දෙක ගැන අවධානයෙන් ඉන්න ඕන කාලයක් තියෙනවා. So we all know that parents are doing wonderful job. During the schooling age when the children are physically growing and gaining more subject matter knowledge, the role of parents will become even more important. So they have done a wonderful job so far. So that is why you are here. දෙමව පියෝ මේ දේ කරපු නිසා තමයි අද ඔයාලා බහුතරයක් මෙතන ඉන්නේ. ඒගොල්ලෝ විශේෂ කාර්යයක් කරා. But you have to continue the job in tandem. Your job your job has not been finished yet. So more to do for the betterment of your son or daughter's future. ඉතින් ඒක නිසා දෙමව පියෝන්ගෙනුත් අපි ඉල්ලීමක් කරනවා. දරුවා වතාරින්න එපා මෙච්චර කාලයක් කරපු කැපවීම ඒ ආකාරයෙන්ම කරන්න සමහර විට වඩා වැඩි වෙනුත් කරන්න වෙයි මොකද ඔබේ දරුවාගේ අනාගතය වෙනුවෙන් so you can see that a little while ago your son is uh, uh, 
uh, busy with uh, was busy with uh, Facebook, and uh, after that, they are faced on the book, right? Because of your dedication, well, Hamadi Sima make a monitor Karaponiza, Hema in the Dunalamiat, Ekanisa Lamia, the Sartre were a possible suspect, Nimaka Lami, which is the other title. The AK, a Kappa Vima, Pratipaliak with the Lamia in North. Sabarakam Vishid Yale, we are hard with the Apita. Taken some make a matakopia. So, due to the time constraint, I would like to wind up my talk. I just want to emphasize you this is indeed a journey. Uh, like a ship uh, sailing in the sea, remember that the ship can be built while it is sailing. Kalya Samagama Mamakata Vavasaneta. So remember that ship can be built while it is sailing. So don't care with the uh, others uh, think about you. Enjoy the life uh, with your own rule. Jivite vaatamati ena balapur tuati karagana tamange ma vidhya the jivite ganiyan. There are people feeling lack of confidence uh, will make a disturbance uh, for your movement. Eh ma minisu inna ma ekollo vaage gamana te baada karai. Never hate people who jealous of you. They are the people who think that you are better than them. Be confident uh, in yourself. Don't allow uh, these people to affect your confidence or to create self-doubt. Keep doing what you are doing and don't allow the others to stop you. Hang out uh, with the people who support you. This is also important. There are a lot of good people. So you have to hang out with the people who support you. Who are always happy about your success. So, behalf of the everyone in Sabaragami University, I wish you uh, best of luck uh, in your future. Of course, future activities and life events. So, you'll be great, definitely. Life is will filled with unexpected uh, adventures. As you continue to move on in life, and face new events, adventures, and challenge. We all wish you the best of luck. So good luck to you all to continue to learn and earn your graduation with fine flying colors. I think I'll be part of the work. I'm going to talk to you in the next one. I'm going to talk to you in the next one. I'm going to talk to you in the next one. Dimakaranata, or Bada Shaktiya, Dairi Labin Nakira, Mama Sabaragam Vishid the Ali Sieluma, Achari Baru Anadina Achari Anadina Karaman, Silu Dina Vilima, or Bada Pratanakan. So thank you very much, Dr. Sandun Pereira and uh, Dean, uh, Dr. Rasang Sabaragamu, who gave this opportunity to address the students in the orientation program. Thank you very much, all. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Kostatagi. Uh, I'm sure the students are pretty close to the moon by now, right? You will be over the moon in four years, I guess, but uh, the inspiration that you wanted, I mean, we did our best to provide you that today, right? And thank you so much, uh, Professor Ka Kavinga Kostatagi, uh, for doing that for us. And I also have to say a word about uh, Professor Kostatagi. Actually, we, we really uh, miss him here in uh, Faculty of Applied Sciences these days uh, because uh, uh, he, is, uh, he was with us for quite some time and he's now in one of those new faculties of the university in the Faculty of Technology. In addition to that, Professor Kostatagi is uh, one of the leading personnel in uh, deciding the uh, physics curricula of uh, the advanced levels as well as uh, the physics uh, stream in entire uh, uh, 
I mean, country's education system. So he is uh, one of the uh, greatest, uh, uh, one of the uh, most uh, influential characters uh, in our staff. And you can see Sabaragamu has a, a bunch of uh, young professors. That's another energy that we have here. Uh, I mean, if you have uh, heard uh, to our, our vice chancellor, Professor Udayaratnayaka, starting from there, uh, we have a very good uh, set of young professors who are still capable of uh, doing energetic uh, developments for the country and uh, especially for the university uh, university's development. So uh, thank you so much for Sakoswat again, again and again. And uh, we would really like our students to uh, have more interaction with you in the future as well. Uh, so having said that, uh, I would like to uh, uh, kind of uh, have another minute uh, to uh, thank all who have organized, uh, helped us in organizing this event, especially uh, the, the coordinating, uh, sorry, uh, the orientation committee of the Faculty of Applied Sciences who have been spending several uh, sleepless nights and uh, making arrangements for uh, this to happen. However, we will not really go for a lot of thanks today because this is not an end, right? We are going to we'll be with you for one one whole month and you will, uh, the students, uh, Dula Putala, actually, I usually don't use the term Dula really much. I call Puta to everybody. So Putala, Ogulonte, program a dedicated set of uh, English instructors uh, representing the faculty's English language training unit, as well as uh, representatives from the entire university's uh, uh, department of English language training. So uh, we are going to introduce you that uh, program in the evening today, in the afternoon today. And therefore, uh, we are now uh, kind of as uh, Professor Gosatagi's uh, told uh, that we are now launching the ship slowly, right? So today in the morning, what we did was uh, taking the rope removed and you are now all on board the ship. I hope no one is uh, still running to catch the ship. Call them and uh, get them to uh, get on board as soon as possible because we are going to lift the ladder now, right? And the ship will be sailing and the sailing will start today again at three o'clock, right? So Mr. Derek uh, Silva, who is the leading instructor or the leading teacher of the English uh, uh, course, intensive English course, is going to introduce you the English program in the evening. Plus our IT team will take a turn to get you into a little bit of a, a code of conduct in the online mode, right? Uh, again, as the uh, professor was uh, telling very, uh, saying very correctly, you are masters in, uh, in uh, online mode by now, maybe than us, but still, uh, even in the online mode, there is a discipline to follow and there are ways, there are do's and don'ts, right? There are things that you should do and there are things that you should not do. And uh, there are different ways of interacting. So we are going to have a little discussion today for about two more hours or one and a half hours or so, uh, starting with the intensive English program and then about the online etiquette. And we will be all set to start the English program from tomorrow morning onwards. Thanking again, Professor Kosatta Gay uh, and uh, the Vice Chancellor, the Dean, as well as the entire team behind making today's event a success. I will uh, hand over to uh, Ms. Deep Chandi, uh, again, another product of the Sadragama University, right? Uh, most of, I mean, almost all our members of the orientation organizing committee 
uh, are most are products of Sabaragamu. And so we all love our mother university and we are so welcoming you to the family of Sabaragamu. Thank you. Over to you, Deep. Thank you so much, sirs, both of you again. And uh, with this, this, this segment of the orientation inauguration comes to an end with the hope of seeing you right at 3 p.m. for the English uh, program inauguration. In the same channel. In the same channel. In the, In same, the same channel. channel. You, you, you can join the same YouTube channel to join the session. Thank you so very much again. Okay, we look forward to seeing you there.